Um, all right, guys, I'm here a bit early. Hey, Space Cowboys, it's Susan O'Crossby. I'm here early, so I know I said four, but I decided I need to come here just a little bit early so I can um, set up. And when I say set up, I mean like I have my paints here off to the side. So I'm going to go ahead and get my palette, which is right here ready but first like let me move this light i have this light on here i call it my vanity light hey bubba i'm gonna go ahead and get my phone set up so that's why i'm here early i wanted to get here early so i can get prepared how does the audio sound bubba does it sound good because I, I brought my mic from my main computer to my laptop. So hopefully that's going to be good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll get started. I mean, how do I, like, can I watch my own life? I can. Okay, I can watch my own life. Perfect. Oh, shit. That was the whole point. I was supposed to look at my comments. Crap. Okay, let me. Ah. Let me pretend like I know how to do stuff. Let me pretend like I know how to do stuff. Oh, and there's a delay. Cool. <laughs> Let me turn the sound down so it doesn't show up on camera. All right. We got like, what time is it? What time is it? It is 3.48. Thank you. You know, I had to do my nails. I did them. I did them like, what? I still need to add some some art to it, but we're we're pretty much we're pretty much um I, I want to add like flowers or something to it. Maybe I'll go live next Sunday and do that. But by next Sunday, I'll probably need a, a fill already. Sit down and give myself a fill. Okay. So I thought I was ready to paint, which I am, but this is already like I just why didn't I start with, I should have cleaned my brushes yesterday. That's what I should have done. Let's see. Um, how do I look? I'm looking here, but I want to be able to see the, here we are. My sister's, my sister has long nails. Oh, so she got good taste. She has good taste. Okay. Now I can see the comments now. So you guys see I have my phone here and then I have my reference here. Let me go ahead and turn my reference on. So I'm going to walk in the shot real quick. S I N. There we go. So you guys can't see the reference. I already posted that earlier. Um, let me see if you can just, yeah, just a little bit. So you can kind of see where I'm going to go. And let me go ahead and get my paints. Let's get my paints. Get my paints going. This is kind of this is kind of inception. Like I can see myself on my phone, and I can also see myself here. It's, it's really, it's really weird. I don't know what colors I'm gonna need. I'm just gonna. I know I might need some, some cadmium orange. I'm definitely gonna need some of that. Um, I'm only taking out the big tubes for now, just because. Why not? And I only. Of course, I got my raw sienna. I don't know if I want to paint with raw sienna. I should have gotten gloves because I don't want to touch this laptop. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and squirt some paint. Squirt some paint. See? Oh, okay. We got 10 minutes and then we're going to sit down and start. So let me just go ahead and this is why I'm early. I am painting um, a portrait of my Uncle Big Rick that passed this week. And um, I'm going to send it out to my family in California. Do, 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 do. Oh, the comments disappeared. Why are they disappeared? Okay. I'm just going to keep that prompt open just in case. I don't want to, I don't want to um, sit here and like 
I won't hear anybody's like um, what they're talking about and stuff. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a do a portrait. And I had to, I had, look, I had to find a picture, really did. I had to find a good picture because like a lot of the pictures people were taking, they gave me, I was like, oh, that, you can't see him. So my mom gave me a picture. I post, if you want to see the reference, it is on the community page on my channel. It is there. I might need black. Normally you make your own black, but one color I do need that I haven't, I haven't spilled out yet is dioxide purple. Is this, or is this blue? I think this is my purple. I use that a lot. Yeah, this is my dioxide purple. I love to use this for black skin tones. Um, oh crap. Oh God. Let's not ruin, let's not make a complete mess before we even start painting, right? Before we even get the paint on the canvas. Jeez. You painted a Naruto character for your brother? That's nice. That was very nice of you. Let's see. Um, oh. Always, did I put umber? Always need some, some burnt umber. Oh God, and it's on there really tight. Okay, go ahead and, there we go. What did I strongman close this thing? Jeez, I have no idea. Oh, I know I'm gonna need green. I'm looking at my Uncle Big Rick uh, off to the side here, a reference photo. And uh, yeah, he's got, he looks like he's got a little bit of my undertones, but at the same time, not really, yeah, I have reference to his skin. I would say we're gonna we're gonna wing it. Like this is a very old photo from like the it's either the 70s. I mean he got a big old afro. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pour out some of the ivory black already, just because sometimes you just need a strong, a strong shadow. And yeah, I can mix it with umber and um all kinds of stuff, but you know what I, else I need? I need some mediums, so I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I don't usually use medium these days, but I am gonna use some um, thinner, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this, because I have like a, I have a trunk he right here, a little trunk, and it's how I was able to take my paints to class, so like here's one part of the trunk, and I'm already going ahead and get my some old school favorites here. Some old school favorites here. Some old school favorites. Oh, not that. I think I'm looking for my paint cup now. Oh boy. Let's see if it's in here. No, it's, it's supposed to be at the very bottom. Y'all give me a second. Whew, okay. I will look. What did I do with my paint cup? Well, found something that was useful. I won't need this just yet, but it might come in handy while I'm painting. And now I'm going to have to find the paint cup. I don't know what I did with that. I haven't painted in here since I redid the decor in here and did all the third things so I could make it look nice. And you know, I've painted and all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, don't look. I already got paint on my face and I haven't even, have barely even sneezed at the paint. Huh. As expected. I'm gonna go ahead and get my paint. I am going to need green. I think I did I buy a big tube? I don't think so. So I got this. My paints are used and abused. Okay. 
used and abused paint. Okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this into some kind of cup. I know I have some kind of cup I can use. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use this. Excuse me for a second, baby. Need to. I need to do things. Okay. Oh wow, have I not opened this yet? It feels, wow, I haven't opened this yet. Cool. Fresh flower. Oh crap. <laughs> Very careful because this stuff is, this is the worst pour spout in the entire world. I need a lot of that. And of course, I will clean that up early. What time is it? Ooh, we still on schedule. It's 4.57. It's 4.57. Let me go ahead and get shop towels. By the way, these are a lot better to have. Normally, I have a painting rag with me to clean up stuff, but I don't have any today. So I'm just going to go ahead and use these as much as possible. I'm going to go ahead and add this off screen. Let's see. What is the white thing? What are you looking at specifically? Are you talking about this white thing? Or are you talking about, um, uh, yeah, what are you talking about? Are you talking about this? This table? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just put this up under here for now because that's where I'm going to wipe off my brush. It's 358. So now I am sitting. I am sitting and I can still read the comments. So that is a thing. Oh, Bella, really? Yeah. You mean, um, um, this table, it's just a piece of tile that I placed on a, um, like a $5 mirror, not mirror, a $5, those little $5 uh, TV tray tables. And then I have it on a dolly so I can move it. Like you see, I can move it right now because it has wheels. It really helps to be able to adjust where the paint is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start mixing a color. I'm gonna mix a color, baby. We gonna mix some colors, baby. Mix my color, and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a little orange. And I don't know. This is a nice black, and I'm gonna add a little blue to kill how bright as hell that orange is. How about a little purple? I don't know. I'm just at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and get started, and I'm. This color is already too dark, which that's fine. We'll just, well, honestly, what I really should do first, um, I'm going to take a shop towel. I'm going to leave that there. And I'm going to take some, ooh, it's, ugh, I, I need my, I need my gloves. I need to go out and buy gloves. And I'm going to tone, this is called, if you guys don't know, this is called toning the canvas. should make some medium but so we're all ready we're ready because I miss any comments oh you said the bottle oh okay so that's 
that I'll show you. Terpenoid. Odorless terpenoid. It's, I, you know, normally you want to use mineral spirits or whatever, but it's one of those things where semantics, you know what I mean? Like I, I, I was raised or not raised. I was taught on, um, on odorless terpenoid because you're with so many people. And yeah, probably should use the good stuff, but um, I'm in here alone and there's no ventilation in here. So it's not a good idea to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start, I'm just going to get the paint on there and get a fill for what I'm doing. Do, 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 do. Very superstitious. Hey. Now I'm going to, I just, I'm going to start planning out my shapes. Um, he looks like he's wearing white in here. I'm going to make it like a baby blue or something, or I don't know. Like this is this time period. So I'm blocking our shapes. I'm going to definitely need more paint than I poured out. But I'm just going to go ahead and start doing that. I might need to stand for this because my arm is already getting tired. I could just do this. So, bop, 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 So I will have to say right now um, that I am a Alla Prima painter and that means you're not gonna see any underpaintings for me unless I am forced to. Um, uh, you won't you won't really see that kind of stuff for me. Um, I like they they made me do it in school, um, but once I realized once I figured out oils um, in class, once uh, especially learning from my my painting professors. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this is how I paint and I don't want to paint any other way, which I did learn other ways to paint or, or whatever, but you know. I start with a big brush and I'm just going to work my way out and I don't, I'm going to go ahead with, I want to add just a little bit of blue. I probably need to get me out some cerulean, pour some more of the thinner on here. Because uh, we're, you know, but this is going to be a long stream, by the way. I am going to, I um, guess I, I normally finish um, paintings this big in about six hours. So I'll, hopefully I'll be here for six hours. I don't know if my phone is going to die first, but hopefully I'll be able to, or not my phone, but my laptop. I have the charger here though. So I will definitely be keeping an eye on that. I can already tell that, you know, I think, what do I want to go around? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, and put my shapes. Um, now I'm looking at my base colors here. I'm thinking that I want to get more thin, get more, um, Terp I always say terpenoid wrong. Terpenoid. That's how I pronounce it. Okay. Terpenoid. That's how I remember what it is. Okay. All right. Okay. Just get the paint. That's all I'm doing right now in the beginning is just getting the paint on there. I can already tell there's just a little bit of green. And I'm just, I, why? I just, I'm going to put green. Why is my painting? So I'm gonna do it. And it's because I still have blue on the brush, it, but it makes a much better, better blue. So of course there's gonna be like a shadow. Pre, this is, this is. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, oh, man. That tells me I'm getting a little out of um, practice. I went from doing about three or four full-size paintings a week to, to um, literally almost none. 
And now I'm picking back up my pace uh, about doing three or four portraits and paintings because I have a goal of getting into some galleries, some local galleries around here. Uh, da -da. So I gotta pick back up my pace. I don't wanna slow down. You know, that just because you graduated thing was, is not gonna get to me. I am speaking it into existence. Building superstition is a lining on the wall. Building is a bed. Now for the background, what color? I'm thinking, I, you know what? I'm going to be bold with it. I'm going to be a bold bitch today. We're going to be bold. We're going to be bold. We are going to be bold. We are going to be bold. Also basic because now I've got complimentary colors, but don't worry. We'll zhuzh it up. A little, I'm so messy with my paintings, but that's, that's what I like. And well, the best part about a good quality oil paint let me see if I have anything. No new comments. Okay, cool. The best part about oil paint is that I can just, I can make mistakes and I can always go back and fix it while the paint is wet. But you have to have a good quality. And I use Utrecht paints. I use Utrecht paints and, look, I got a text message. Um, I use Utrecht paints. So that is like, if you ever want to save money on oil colors, but you want you don't want to lose quality, Utrecht paints are great. Um, they're like Blick literally bought Utrecht just so they can have their paints, and I'm like that paint is really good though, and that's what I've been using for such a long time, a long time since I got into my painting program which seems like a long time for me, but it's not. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm like, it gets darker here. So let me just mush, mush my paint here. Smush my paint here and I want a lighter color here. I need um, cadmium. <laughs> Or yellow. I know I have some yellow. I know I have my. Um, yes, I do. Let me. I need like a little brush holder one of these days so I can just put the brush somewhere. And just put it backwards. That still has liquid, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna take some of this lighter color, and that is going to be. Um, well, I guess it's going to be because it gets lighter. Or no, actually, it gets darker here. Okay, so I'm just going to put this here. I'm going to put this yellow here. I made a mistake there. It gets darker. So technically, I just need to put a dark color there. So I'm going to, you can actually mix a black with some umber and ultramarine or dioxide purple. Or if you have Payne's gray. And I'm just gonna, I don't know if I want like this dark, dark color here. Hmm. Let's take a step back and just look at what we're doing. Well, first, yeah, I really don't, I really don't like to use black just because of how it mixes with, how it plays well versus if you use, you mix your own black, so. But I have that color just in case. Sometimes you need a really good, strong pigment. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and use this purple. This purple. Oh, you know what color I did not pour out? I didn't pour out any, um, I didn't pour out any red, any, any cadmium red or just cadmium. So I have... 
what color is this? I think this is cadmium. We'll go ahead and pour out some of this color. You can already tell I'm going to need that. Just a little bit. Yeah, I think this is cadmium. Okay. Yeah, I'm already going to wipe it because I got Mike in my ass. Okay. All right. Okay, we're almost, we're almost, we almost got paint on the entire canvas. So I can already tell from looking at this on, on live that, uh, that I hate this right here. So, but that's fine. We will, we will go back and fix that. Um, just going to add, just adding dark colors. I'm not really worried about anything. I'm just getting paint on the canvas. And that is how you are managing the time well. Look, it's turning into a nice green. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So once I got that done, I got paint on the canvas. Um, now I'm going to go ahead. I want to switch brushes. Let's see if I have anything clean because I know all those brushes in here are dirty. They just, if anything, I have them out for aesthetics. So but here's my clean brushes. These are the brushes I use a lot. Um, I could go with this one. I don't, I could go with this one. I don't need these mop brushes just yet, but let's just go with this one for now. And let's go ahead and mix a pretty light color. Just need, yeah, titanium. Always need a big tube of titanium. You go through it so quickly. You go through it so quickly. Okay, and I'm just gonna take a little bit, I'm just gonna mix my light colors, my light skin tone color, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play. Still haven't really picked a localized skin color yet, but I do wanna kind of plan out shapes a little bit just just marking out that I can already tell where his nose is gonna at so I'm gonna carve that out soon Now I'm like, maybe you do need, oh, I don't think I do. That's where his nose is going to be. Of course, this is like probably the first time I've painted someone with a beard. So that, that's something to, to think about. Well, I'm just going to dig through and I'm just going to dig through the paint for a bit. And is this like a dark color here? I don't know. I feel like orange is where I want to go. Not too much orange. If orange, when you mix it with purple. Oof. Now I think I have too much light on me because I'm actually having a little bit of an issue of seeing what's going on. It's kind of bright. I might have to go and um, take some of the color, the light off of the painting because it is making it, the paint is so wet, y'all. It is so wet. It is so wet. <laughs> Which is what we want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think if you guys are painting along with me, totally, totally find your center and relax a little bit. Relax. Painting is fun. It is a process and I love the process. I absolutely, I love it more than I love to paint, to be honest. 
Like I like the processing of painting. I, I don't want you to be like straight up taking it away, but I love the whole process more than anything. Oh, semantics, semantics. Now I still gotta pick my skin tone. Like if I if if I look exactly at my painting, this painting, this or not painting. If I look exactly at my reference, um, it's like yeah, I don't want to look. I don't want to follow it too much because this is an old photograph. So um, the colors are not true to life per se, but I remember, I remember my uncle's skin tone. So I'm trying to get with that. I like this. Let's see. It's a good neutral. Now the best part, if you feel like your colors are blending in too much with the base shape that you made, go ahead and just scrape it off. Literally, you can just scrape off that paint. Like, like, like let me go ahead and show you. Um, yeah, feel like you have too much paint. You can literally just scrape off some paint, and then. Boom, then you can just put new color on top, which um, I didn't need to do that, but. Now, one of the things that is always a good idea is, um, I call it picture management. Picture, picture time management. I don't want to babysit all the details. If you're going to get things done quickly, you need to use your, like, how's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? That doesn't sound too much like, like, an, uh, like I'm scolding people. Because, <laughs> hey, Sophia, welcome. Um, but yeah, I don't want to sound like I'm scolding too much. But um, yeah, like, you, like, you know, people, if you want to be able to get your stuff done quickly and um, don't waste so much time with full details, just paint, just keep painting, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, um, in the nicest way possible. <laughs> okay, a little, a little of this blue. Oh, but it needs a little, a little yellow, a little yellow in this. Too much yellow. Um, let me add a little purple then to kill it. We gotta murder the yellow, I guess. Y'all can't y'all can't even see my painting, my painting tray. <laughs> but I had to I had to murder the how bright it was real quick because now we're getting into neutral neutral colors right on top. Right on top. Oh yeah. And like I didn't it's hard to see. So like the app for some reason only sharpened his face and nothing else. So um, that's cool. I will work around that. Meaning not everything has to be so sharp and perfect. You know, remember that you're an artist and not a picture, uh, not a camera. So like, yeah, remember, remember you're an artist. And we're gonna sfumato, sfumato the hell out of that. Yes, we are. Oh, cool. So, how are you guys doing today? Oh, all right. I appreciate you stopping by, Sophia. I'm gonna be here for a while. So, so. Oh, oh. So I'm going to go add some lighter colors to where I feel like they need them. Do, do. Oh, y'all have no idea how good this feels to paint. Um, for me anyways, like it feels so good. I love to paint. I love it. I'm good. You're right. This is relaxing. Thanks. Hey, Christina. 
Thank you for being here. And yes, it is. It feels so good, like especially after having such a crappy week. Like, um, it feels so good. Like, I don't know why. Well, it got to the point, guys, I'm going to be honest with you, where I was only painting, not for my gallery work. I was painting for, and this is just, you know, I just graduated. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all, hey. Oh, by the way, I have my, I have my, um, I have my phone here so I can read the comments, but every once in a while I will look back if I miss anything. But um, uh, it got to the point where it was like, do I, after I finish commissions, do I just sit here and wait for a commission to get a chance to paint? And then it was like, the commissions slow down. They always, the commissions will always slow down right after um, the holidays. And it picks right back up during the summertime. And um, that's where you, that's when you start kind of stressing out just a little bit. But I was like, do I sit here and wait for a commission or do I keep painting? I'm like, I don't, I, I want to paint. So I got to the point where I was like, you know what? We're going to paint regardless, regardless, honey. We're going to paint regardless if we have the commission because we are painters and that is what painters do. That is what artists do. You don't wait for inspiration. You just do it. It just feels good. Don't worry about what am I painting this for? Sometimes you do, but that's but that's if you're doing gallery work. And we're not doing that right now. We're just we're just painting a loved one who passed, which is so funny though. Like I feel like um you know, my, the, so I haven't finished my collection of um, the missing black women that I, I did in school, but my goal this year is to get it displayed, even if it can't be on my own property, like I wanted it to be. Um, but um, as long as, as long as people get to see it, Get to see, see it. I, I could care less where it is, where its first time is. I can always do that later. There's just a little pink. There's a little, there's just a little pink somewhere. Let me put a little pink. But you know what? My, um, my Uncle Big Rick was very handsome when he was, when he was sober that's what my mom would say but i'm not gonna lie guys like family history is a little it's a little interesting it's a little interesting um but nothing to be ashamed of because when we found he died of knack he died of natural causes but when i say y'all y'all be careful out there be careful man like um just, just be, I just hope you guys are being safe. Like, just out there being safe, make smart choices. Whew. I really want to get this light out my face. So I'm going to stop just a second and turn off this light. One of these lights, because it is so bright. I cannot see. Let me see. Oh! Look at that. Now I can see. Now I can see. So there's not, you need less light on your paint so you can see. Because wet paint, man, how can you see? And now I remember what I was mixing that pink for, if anything. <laughs> remember those things called lips? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, those things called lips. Uh, yeah. Hi, Spud. <laughs> you want to come in? Not like, not like you could come in. I'm blocking the door. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add those. Add our whites. We never, we never, ever, ever 
ever, guys. We never use straight up white paint. And I know with our doll repaints, we tend to do that. Um, but no, don't ever use straight up white paint. Not even for doll repaints. Because if you ever wonder why she looks like this. <laughs> if you ever wonder why she looked like that, girl, don't use straight up white. Like, <laughs> mix it, mix it. Trust me. Mix it. This part, this part is probably my favorite part where it doesn't look like anything. And I think um, if you have a lot of anxiety in your first time painting, let me go ahead and switch brushes real quick. Look, this is already, this little brush thing is already disgusting. It is disgusting, but this is what we gotta do. I'm just making a dirty, now I'm just like trying to make a dirty white and now I gotta kill it because it's too strong. Ooh, and that's just gonna make it stronger. What was I doing? How about a little brown? That'll make it, yeah, okay. Dirty white. This, well, I'm gonna do crap. I'm gonna do crap. So what do I do? Well, my good madam sir. Well, my good madam sir, we were gonna go in and we're just gonna, there, all right. All right, I don't want to babysit. I don't want to babysit a spot. So let's move on to the next spot. I'm loving my color choices already. It's a little, it's a little out there. Not really. It's just, I, I think it would be cool to hang on a wall. And um, yeah. I want to paint the afro a certain way, um, but it's all, oh, there is some, look, using your eyes is great. There is a little, I can do a little texture. I actually don't, this is a filbert. I should probably switch to a square, a flat or something. I don't know if I have one. Let's just look, because I'm pretty biased on the kind of shapes I like. Look, I do have a filbert. Is it clean? <laughs> Define clean. What does clean mean? Um, define it. Uh, clean enough. How about that? And a lot of these brushes that I have sitting in this little thing need to be, they need to be acetone soaked and then, um, and then clean thoroughly. Cause uh, a lot of people know, especially my, my friend Libby, she know I, <laughs> bruh she knows like she's like why don't you ever clean your brushes Kendra I just feel like I will next year but you know what school is such a fast paced learning environment um meaning like especially if you're taking a crap load of classes and you drive you gotta get out of there bruh you, you gotta leave you gotta leave. And there was just, there was so many people. Like this is before they grabbed what we needed. Um, I want, let me just go ahead before I, I don't wanna mix any green, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put that green there because I can kind of see it just a little bit. And yeah, sometimes I exaggerate with my colors, but there's more than one way to paint black people. And I am obsessed with skin tone. Which, that's a little dry. This is like, I say a little dry. This paint is a little dry, which I don't like. Um, not the paint, but the brush is is like it's scraping away a lot of the paint, which tells me I need more paint. And I can already tell I need some more titanium white because my highlights um, shade that I mix is already gone because I have poor palette management. And um, if Professor Rimlard was here, uh, he would he would come over and he would talk shit like he did every class. <laughs> it was one time, one time he like, he was like, I'm gonna bring you a paint palette. And he was so serious. And I was just like, oh my God, like chill, bro. Like, why are you, so, why are you in my grill? Why are you in my paint palette? <laughs> oh, I just thought it was so cute that I, that he had so much anxiety about, about what I used. <laughs> He's like, how can you get the colors? 
That's like, cause I don't really care if the colors get smushed or this, like he's a very exact kind of painter. He wants the exact color and, and the exact this. And I'm just like, just like, I just be like, it's all good, man. It's all good. It's all good. You know, that's, that's how I would be <laughs> like, bruh. Like, yeah, like I, I, I'm so un unbothered, you know what I mean? Like I'm very unbothered with, um, like, I'm like, I'm in my relaxing zone and there is nothing you can do or say to take me out of it. <laughs> I was just like, honey, I'm in a, I'm in a good mood. And by the way, that comes with age, like where you're just so unbothered. Like, yeah, every once in a while, somebody, somebody can break your vibe, but not for too long. You know, this is too small. I really need a, a nice, am I really going to use, yes, I am. I really didn't want to use this brush because it's clean. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like, you see how, like, let me see, can you see how it's white again? It was not white. Look, I already got paint all over my hands. Good thing I got a stain resistant top coat because I would your girl could never we're just gonna I just want to fade a little bit like see all this right here I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly lightly smush it that's also what that mop brush is for and that was probably the coolest thing I learned from professor uh Rimlard was use a mop brush to help blend I just want to fade it out, make it a little fuzzy. Make it a little fuzzy. Make it a little fuzzy, baby. Make it a little fuzzy, baby. Are you gonna make it fuzzy? Yeah, it's for motto, honey. What you know about that's for motto? That's the motto. I don't know. All right, all right. You know, it's so funny, like, um, I am so over this already. Not really, but like, I'm over, like, I'm over being like cramped. Like, I feel kind of cramped. Maybe I have, maybe, nah, I really am. Like, the door is right here. Like, it's, she right there, bro. Like, Jesus. She is right there. And I'm like, if there was a fire, I could go nowhere. <laughs> oh, God, what? what? Okay, that was, I went to a dark place bro, just now. Are we going to have therapy and think about it? No, we're just going to keep it moving. Because apparently that's really human to have weird thoughts like that. According to her uh, not yeah, he's a professor, but Dr. Kirk Honda. That man is amazing. Just a very sweet man. If you ever want to check out his YouTube channel, definitely recommend it. Um, I got into psychology over the over the um this is a nice skin tone color, but what does it need? Let's pretend like I know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was just a little too neutral. There we go. Let's see. Am I babysitting again? Well, I think it's okay. I think it's okay to babysit for now, right? You know what? I don't know if YouTube will kick me off. And oh, look, I wouldn't even remember that was there. I wonder if YouTube would... Um, like, I wonder if I'll be able to complete this entire painting on live because I know how long it will take me in general to do it. Hmm. You can already see where I'm starting to go and where we are here. Um, I can already tell I need to move this up. And the best part about oils, honey, is that you can just literally do that. Everything is a work in progress. What on what is your friend? It is your friend. Remember that. It is your friend. 
It is not anything scary. And you never know if you're going to be good at it if you do not try. Like uh, underpainting, way too safe for me. I'm like, let's go ham. Get the paint on there. It's kind of aggressive. Like lots of energy. Ugh. Ugh. Get that paint. I have no idea where this energy comes from. Um, I believe I am a Sagittarius. Well, not believe. I am a Sagittarius, and I believe that's where that masculine ass energy comes from. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so I'm a I am a femme queen today. I am. One of the, you know, one of the things I love to do, um, and I always say it to, I always say it to, I forgot which friend I always say it to, but I'd be like, hey, girl, hey, just like that, all, all loud and obnoxious, just like that, always, yeah, okay, so everything here is blurry, right, but in the center, it's nice and sharp, so I might want to as an artistic point of view, I could probably just go ahead and, and do that um, or not. I don't know. But in the meantime, I do want to clean off this brush, get some of this paint off. And by clean, I mean wipe it off like, like five second rule. Five second rule. <laughs> I wonder how I'm going to clean up after this because uh, I normally wear gloves and I feel funny without them. I'm just going to go ahead and smush. I'm going to go ahead and smush. Let's smush. We'll go in with detail soon. I just kind of, I don't want to be married to what I have already put down. So I want to be as flexible as possible because um, I want to get my colors. Um, I want to get my colors in. Like right now, to me, he says, from right now, he's like this very orange figure. And I always start with pure color first. So um, I need to add my localized color. <laughs> but we're just going to, we're just going to go ahead and. Yeah, there we go. And then I'll go add some more realistic colors on top and let this guy blend, you know. Let me construct this nose a little bit more. This nose is very, like, like pug nose. That's why my mom would always joke and say, what well, I even joke, she was very, so serious that the family dog looks so much like her older brother. And I just feel like, it's not a sibling things to clown on each other because like I I clown I clown on my brothers like that too, but I was like, damn. <laughs> like Mama Frostbite, she ain't got no filter. It's probably where I get it from. <laughs> no, nah, when I say probably, I know that's where I got it from. Hello. What you want? You want people to know who you are? Trying to get my nose in it. Your nose? nose in it. Your big old nose? Go ahead. Is it in it? Try. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. It's so <laughs> huge. You just destroyed the whole. Like, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mystery Lorsa. <laughs> All right. So, this is where that dark color really does come in handy. And I don't care about, as a painter myself, I don't care about super exact lines either. Um, I feel that the one, the viewer of the painting actually really likes brush strokes and, and um, I don't know, they just, they just like some stuff. Isn't it funny to see how weird my paintings look at the beginning? If you guys follow me on Instagram, which I know the majority of you guys do, um, that, uh, yeah, like when I post my paint, uh, work in progress of my paintings, they look so funny after. <laughs> look how funny that looks. <laughs> Let me go ahead and just 
Yeah, I need a, I need a more paint. More paint. If you feel like your color, you're losing color, you need more paint. Yep, more paint. You should be able to go over like nobody's business. So add big old glob of paint. All right, so now the paint is getting even thicker. I actually think I still need more paint on this. Oh, oh yeah. Oh wow, his fro is bigger than I thought. All right. All right, 70s. 70s. Yeah, I mean, like, it could, this actually, yeah, this is like, this has to be like late 70s. My, well, my mom, yeah, he, he was very young in this photo. I saw my picture, my mom is actually in this photo as well, but um, I don't think she wanted to be on, I don't think she wanted her pictures out there like that, so. But also this canvas, this size canvas, I don't even remember how big it is. Um, I, it's pretty big though. It's a, it's, it's a big guy. It's a pretty good size photo. This is like my standard of painting, my, my standard size. Anybody who wants small stuff, I'd be like, no, you have to choose a different medium for oils for me. I'm learning miniature painting now, but I personally... I personally like big, go bigger, go home, you know, because that's the kind of painter I am. But I will, depending on who it is and what they want, if I really wanted to use like the reference photo, it was like, yeah, I would totally love to paint them. Um, yeah, and then sometimes I'll just be like, you know, I'll make an exception to the rule. Yeah. Okay, I feel like I'm not babysitting too much, but I could use a smaller brush. Go ahead and get this. Oh, is it even? Oh, oh my God, it's still, look. Look, I could clean some stuff. I could clean some stuff. Yeah, yes I can. Yes I can, okay. Let's just go ahead and keep it moving, so. I could use a dark brown. Mm -hmm. We could actually like start on the eyes. I need definitely need more paint. I'm just gonna go ahead and just take umber then. And definitely need more paint. So like okay, Kendra, would you like some canvas with your paint? Would you like that? No, no canvas. Just give me the paint. I'll, I'll paint the canvas. I'll, I'll make the canvas with paint. That's what I'll do. I'm, so, I'm such a nerd for saying that. I'm such a dork. Okay. Okay. But dorks have way more fun. No. Starting to add more detail. I notice his eye is out of place here. That's fine. We can put it back in place. This is why. This is why I always say painting is definitely like sculpture. I'm starting to tighten up here. That's what's going on. That's what's happening. It's happening. Yes, that's happening. I obviously watch way too much Juno Birch, but like she's, she's everything. If you have not checked out Juno Birch, please. And then thank me later when you do, because like, I know you'll love her. She dresses up like an alien. <laughs> it's like my favorite, one of my favorite drag queens right now. Um, yes, that's happening and it's sickening. Iconic. Oh, you know, something I bought from Hot Topic is already already here. And I finally got me some my first Cowboy Bebop merch. And I don't I have no idea why. Oh, because when Cowboy Bebop was a thing back in 1998, it's called I Was a Child. So I had I was a child Mooney. Y'all ever had that I was a child money? It it was a 
it was it was a struggle. It was probably you didn't have none. It was very hard. What was me? Where was me? Such a rough childhood. <laughs> Hello, Avios. Avios? Or Avios. Let me know if I'm saying that right. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for stopping by. Why smush, why smush some expensive, expensive, uh, what is this? Well, what, 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 what do I want to say? Why well, expend some expensive uh, liquid clay on some, no, it's not liquid clay, but <laughs> how do I, what am I doing? I'm like, explain oil painting, but like explain it badly. Oh, he got them paler bags. Oh yes, he does. Paler bags, by the way, this is again, I'm painting a family member in case you guys don't remember. And Apparently, the Taylor bags is a thing on my mama's side of the family. On my mama's side. On my daddy's side, my mama's side. Okay, so I'm going to mix a really thick, take some of this cadmium and like, let's go for it. Second one, so it was Avios. Or did it, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I forgot already. DW, most people get it wrong. Oh, oh, don't worry. Don't most people get it wrong. Oh, okay. So I, I want to get it right. Like, um, I want to make sure I call everybody what they want to be called. Because that is just respectful. I don't even know if I'm going to use this red. Y'all see how red this is? Can y'all, can y'all see, see? How are y'all doing visually? Like, can y'all, can y'all see, see? I hope you guys got something to work on because I, I was like, this supposed to be a paint with me. Let's, let's paint together, baby. Let's paint together. Yes. Painting. Forever, ever. Are they gonna? Is my is am I so pitch perfect that they're going to they're going to uh, give me a copyright strike? <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> Someone made a joke like that on YouTube the other day, um, and I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. I just like she was like, girl. She said it in such a way because the girl it was a girl. She was um, going she was filming with and she was like, girl, they're not going to copyright strike her rendition of the Star Wars March. Like, it was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny. It's really cute. Hello, Benghazi. There's a little glare, but it looks super good. Oh, thank you. Glare wise. Yeah, I, yeah, I see the glare. I could take, let me see if I could. Is that? Is that better? Or, oh, actually, that's probably better. But you know, you can't really, you can't really see. But now that I like to see that, I always have a little bit of a red light on me. Hey, Benghazi, though, welcome. Or is it Gazy? Benghazi, Benghazi, Benghazi. Benghazi. Realistically, though, I, I really do want to do this um, every Sunday. But I know realistically, I most likely will not be able to do that, do this every Sunday. Um, mainly because I don't know what my workload is going to look like, you know. Like um, a lot of my family members, oh gosh, it's, it's hard out here, guys. It's really hard. Um, like I said earlier, be careful, be safe, keep your loved ones Keep your loved ones in your hearts. Like, I'm very, I'm still pretty choked up about Uncle Big Rick, but life, life is, has to go on, you know. You know, now I'm thinking like that was a poor color choice on my part. Poor color choice. But, you know, it's, it's coming out interesting. 
I wonder if I should do um, one of these days I have to set up my figure out how I'm going to turn my camera into a webcam and then you guys can have HD but 4k looking type of lives like I've seen some people do that it'll take me a while to set that up but let's do that when when uh we figure it out but you know did he, does he have a smile oh gosh he has a bit of a smile oh okay uncle big rick okay uncle okay unc yeah like this the paint this picture i'm painting of him he's this is really old really really old my mom's my mom's favorite brother and one of my favorite uncles but his kids are doing right by him and making sure making sure he gets taken care of and oh uh, man like out there in LA is it's really bad man not only like so the whole pandemic thing not only you know what today is a beautiful Sunday and let's not even talk about that let's just because yeah I don't want to we're painting we're painting we're not going to put any anxiety that we already have already in the painting which is the painting making so let's focus let's Hold on, you know what's funny? He kind of looks like Black Bob Ross right now. <laughs> just just a little bit. <laughs> or maybe Bob Ross <laughs> looks like him. No, this is just how it looks right now. Wait. I'm, oh, God, I'm laughing so hard. I'm laughing way so hard. And then where do I want to go? I really need to take a step back so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and take a step back. Too. And then I'll also assess like this glare as well because I think I know where it's coming from. And let's see if I can fix that. Let me dim the light a little bit. Is that a little better? But let me look back here so I can see. I can already tell that I need to make the forehead just a bit wider. I kind of went a little too slim. He's slim, but he's not that slim. We're kind of making a humanoid, you know? Let's make a humanoid today. A humanoid. Let's make a human figure, figure. Hey, what is good about it? Happy, sad. Uh, mm -hmm. So we love you. Whatever you want to do, that fixed the glare a lot. Thanks. I'm glad. I'm glad. So now y'all can see a little bit. And I'm not. Listen, we got. We have. Uh, it doesn't get dark, and we'll get dark soon. But um. That's when that's when I'm like, all right, guys, I, I, I need that light. So in the meantime, however, all right, let's not. How many hours have we been here? We've only been here for an hour. Yo, OK, doing pretty good because yet yeah, my goal today is to get um, get this finished. And that is possible. All things are possible. When you manage your time wisely in a painting. I don't want to, like a whole bunch of times, like, well, this is art school. Like art school, I had to uh, find my way to, you have to be efficient. So everything you do you have to be efficient. You have to get it done. And in order to get your paintings done in time to turn them in and in time for, not turn them in, but more like for final critiquing, in order to get your stuff done, you have to make good choices. And when I say good choices, um, like you see how I was adding the details here? Nope. Don't need to be doing that. You don't need to spend hours doing the details right here. Worry about getting paint on it. Worry about your, your darks and your lights. Worry about that first. I need a big brush. Worry about that first. And then, I got paint on here. And then go ahead and 
once you worry about that, then you can go ahead and start working on those details. So make sure just to be like, oh God, I'm babysitting this one little corner. You have a whole space. You have the whole world to play in. And I will probably, I will probably like smoosh out this because I'm not, I'm not, I do want a bit of a more simple look background. And so I'm going to go ahead and take, this is a brush that has been with me for a long time. Just a simple chip brush. And we're just, because there's so much colors going on in this background. And yeah, sometimes it can look really good. But I don't know if I want that. I was just really getting paint on the, I was really just getting paint. And look, a big brush, and there's not a lot of paint on it. There's no paint, it's just got a little bit of thinner. Look at that. Look at that. And so now let's do a little small model, and we will add a better color so he pops more out on that page page on that canvas oh, okay so he pops out more Jeez, it's like I'm, I'm paying a whole different time period you know and I can already tell looking at that I might want to smush out as well so I'm going to dry this up as much as possible dry it out y'all dry it out hey Dry it out, y'all. Dry it out. Hey, dry it out. Dry it out. All right. This is this probably dried enough. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to fuzz it out again because um, I think I need to get serious about my color choices because I would, I'm going to go ahead and spend some time just mixing some colors. And as I'm mixing, I'm just gonna correct the shape a little bit. That's what I'm gonna do. Correct my shapes. And then the best part about oil is you can move it. You can move it, you can sculpt on top of it. And then I'm gonna feather out this as well, just because it, I'll probably, I'll probably go in, add some more colors and smush it out until I come to a conclusion. And when I say conclusion, meaning when I decide, okay, yeah, all the shapes are in the right place, let's make details, you know? Sometimes you gotta work, there was this exercise that we did and you guys might be able to try it from home is take a picture and just blur it out. And every three minutes, um sharpen it right and then like um yeah it helps I don't know why that helps you look at things but it really does and that was a really fun exercise that we did in in my um painting class that was a great spring 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 is like every time I think of spring I think of paint now yeah I don't I don't want this red here so but I'm gonna smooth it that's it out I'm gonna probably leave the eyes Probably, but I do, I can already tell that I need to move my reference more towards me. Yeah, let me do that because um, it's to the point where I can see distortions. Sometimes distortions are good if they're intentional. We're gonna be intentional artists today. Yeah, so now I wanna figure out what color. Um, we could put like a simple, lavender maybe i'm just gonna mix a simple lavender because the light the light is coming here right look i need way more paint and a little bit more thinner this lavender is getting lost okay lots of brushes Yeah, yeah, okay, that's what I want. Hey, is it a purple painting now? Who knows? Yeah, why not? Is that what I want my end product to be? Maybe, maybe. I am trusting that 
I am trusting that I am an artist. That that is what I'm doing. I am trusting myself that I know what I'm doing. It looks crazy now, but you ever seen you ever seen makeup artists do people's makeup? Now I can already tell that I need to move homeboy's lips here. Move his lips. Uh, I think I might want to mix a good type of pink. This pink might work. It's too strong, but I can kill it later because I can already tell that I need to get here. Yeah, it's a very strong color, but the point here is I can I need to be able to see it. So uh, should I use a different color? For the top, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. Now I'm just gonna. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, or if you just have something you want to talk about, go ahead. Because I am. Go ahead and ask them because I'm just going to be working on mixing some good skin tones, some really good skin tones, and because uh, I'm going to need a lot of a lot of paint. And I might want to look at a reference of my uncle's actual skin tone because this is a very old photo, very very old photo. Yes. White will make everything neutralized, but at the same time, too much white. And it is not going to be your friend, because you still need a little, it makes a little green into that. It makes a little green into that skin tone. That's right. I know you guys can't see what I'm, what I'm doing, but just know um, I'm mixing paint. I'm mixing paint. That's that's what we're doing. Now a little purple because I put too much yellow. And I think that's enough to get some coverage. Some coverage. And I need, like, I really need, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay, a little coverage, a little coverage, a little, a little, that, that is the, that is my core color, and I need to get, I really need to use a much smaller brush, but we're just going to wing it. I still don't believe I'm into, ready for the details just yet. I can already tell that I've already finalized this eye. Although I don't know if I should do that. So I don't know if that's a good idea just yet. But I do know I need to get more paint on. Let me go ahead and dip this in here and find me a... Ooh, well, no, I usually don't use a round brush. It's got more of a pencil-like quality to it that I don't need right now. So let's just do this nose. Oh, yeah, more paint. Ugh. Yes. More paint. More. Ooh. Okay. This is like a three quarter view, I believe, is what we would call it. A three quarter view. Oh gosh, she was very handsome. She was very handsome. I'm like, like, yeah, Uncle, you, you were pretty, you were pretty handsome. Don't get a big head up there. <laughs> like, to be, oh wow, if I mix the pink with a little bit of 
uh, with a muddy mustard color. I get like a really nice, believable highlight now. That's nice. A little pink and brown. And I think now I should just start doing what I normally do, which is take lots of globs and just start 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 the sculptor start this I'm starting the sculpture now that's literally what I'm doing putting big strong things of paint and then what's going to happen is towards the end we're going to fluff it out not not how what I was doing with the giant brush earlier but more what's the word I'm looking for um more delicately I'll start fluffing it out Oh gosh, I hope I get into, so there's this gallery that I really want to get into just because it's literally called a black girl art show and I want to get into it. I've already applied to get into it, but I found it weird that in their applications that they didn't have any like a uh, place to submit your artwork. So it makes me wonder if uh, they have a different kind of way of going about it, let me take some of this lavender and mix it in with this dark brown. So that that was kind of that's kind of weird. So yeah, that lavender and this dark brown. Yeah, yep. I'm in the stage where I'm just going to be taking this brush and I'm just. See how chunky, I don't know if you guys can see how chunky it is per se, but eventually we'll be doing, um, we'll upgrade this, this setup where it will be, you can actually see all the details the way it, in real time, like uh, HD or 4K, hopefully, um, but we're just starting out, we're just starting out, so Kind of cool. I think the last time I went live painting, um, but not on YouTube, it was on Instagram, and we didn't even finish. Hi, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Mouse ninety four. What's up? How are you? Have a seat. Enjoy. Sit down. Relax. Look, I'm doing. I'm doing the most. Let me sh let me shut the hell up. Enjoy. We're just, we're just here painting. Do you have something to work on? Sit down and work on something. You just want to watch me paint? That's fine too. You want to ask me questions? I can read the questions. Do all that. By the way, let me just share something cool with you guys. I just got a new position as a paint and sit instructor. And um, I'll be contacted about it later, but it's like once a month. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, a second part-time job because uh, my first part-time job is modeling. I model for my school that I went to, that I graduated from. I'm just, I just wanna, let's just use the, a, a dark color to go over that. Yeah. No, I haven't heard my dog bark for anything, but he's not by himself. I wonder if he's asleep. I wonder if he's asleep. Let's see. Love the painting. I'm so excited to see new videos and your new space. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the painting. And yes, um, if you haven't already seen the new videos that we already have up right now, totally go check those out when we're done here. Um, and yeah, 2021 guys, we're, we're back, you know, we're, we're going to, we're going to be painting. And I decided that I actually want to do the second part of Mother Crafta. And I decided right now, so you guys can hold me accountable to that, those who are watching, I will be doing 
that second part to Mother Craft. I probably won't use the same, the same um, doll example, but um, I saw a lot of you guys struggling with getting your doll's um, skin tone changed and we can't have that. We can't have that. Like, I want you guys to have no limitations as much as possible. So, and I don't want you guys to struggle. So I'm like, I, I feel so bad because I, I've had this, I've, I've known how to, I've like, you know, my repainting tutorial, I, oh, Sammy said hi. Hi, Sammy. But I've had that repaint tutorial for your dolls, like the updated version. Um, I've already discovered it and I've already done the research and I, I haven't filmed it. So I don't know when it's going to come out, um, but I will tell you, I am going to do that because I just, I don't want to see you guys struggle. Like, I'm like, all right, I can't withhold the information forever. And it's not that I was withholding information. I really just did not want to do that. I didn't want to continue, but I'm like, seeing how many of you guys need it. I'm like, man, let me go over there and help y'all. Like, damn it. <laughs> no, you guys know I love helping you guys. I don't want to see nobody, nobody struggle when they don't have to. I feel like maybe we should have played music. Um, I do have epidemic sound subscription. I could have I could have brought some music up in here. Next time we'll do it. I'll build like a epidemic sound playlist. We could maybe we can vote on what kind of music. But you know what? No, we're not gonna vote on what kind of music because it's hip hop, guys. It's hip hop. If it's it ain't hip hop or maybe some soft rock, but I don't know. I'm I'm such a '90s rock person and um, '80s rock, and we can't listen to that. So I can listen to some lo-fi all day, like all day, honey. I can listen to it all day. I think I should have gone with a dark red. I feel like I'm being way too safe with my colors, but once I got once I got it subscribed, <laughs> subscribed, uh, once I got, once I subscribed to an image, then <laughs> I'll go in and do stuff. Hello, Al, Ali Soris. Ali Soris? I joined late, but it's looking great so far. Don't worry about being late. Don't worry about that. We're going to be here for a bit. We're going to be here for a bit. I appreciate you coming in. And as I always want to say, you are needed and you are loved, every single one of y'all. So you being here is, it means so much. So thank you so much for, for showing up. And thanks for showing up for me. I really appreciate that. I know. Let's take a trip to Paris. Wake up in Tokyo, have a dream in New Orleans, fell in love in Chicago. We can land in the motherland, camelback on the desert sands, take a train to home, Brazil, for real. Hey, wherever I go, she goes. Wherever I go, she goes. I hope you guys don't mind like me um, randomly singing all the time. I, I am like that in person. What I got a song in my heart and I will sing it. And it's so relaxing. Like I am, I am, I am in the zone. This is my happy space, my happy place. Welcome to my happy place. And, <laughs> and I just, I feel good. I feel great. Like there's nothing, nothing can penetrate my vibe. Like I said, that comes with, that really comes with age, that unbothered and not even, they don't tell you this when you get older, you're not even looking for happiness. You want to look for 
contentness. Like, yeah, there are days you're going to be happy, but you know, there's days you're not going to be happy, but there's days where you're just going to be content. Like, and I, like, once you get to that content feeling, oh my God, there is nothing. So right now, today I am, con I am content. I'm breathing. I feel, I feel loved. I feel, I feel the feels. Are you feeling the feels? I'm feeling human, I'm feeling those, those human things. You know what, now that I look at the paint that I have, this is, um, this is lemon yellow. And if it wasn't so dirty, you'd be able to tell. So <laughs> this lemon, so we're gonna get a different type of yellow. Um, I thought it was cadmium, but now I'm just realizing that's why everything looks so bright. I could use yellow ochre. There's ways to make yellow ochre look really bright. So if you guys don't know, right here is where I keep all my paints right now. That's where I'm keeping it. This, this is white. I can already tell it's white. Um, I don't need white. I need plenty of that. Um, is this another tube of white? It is. Okay, well, you can never have too many whites. I wish I would have known that before I bought it. Like, <laughs> Pro tip. Um, definitely. Well, this is Naples yellow. This will work. Um, definitely check your stock of paint before going to be going to the art store, your local art store, if, you know, <laughs> do that. So you don't waste money. Uh, remember that thing that you need to sustain your life. Come on, get that together. Okay. So why did I need this color again? Oh, because I wanted to juice up. Just. We're just adding, and I usually like to use a filbert instead of, um, remember a filbert is a flat brush. Let me show the, the giant version I've been using in the beginning of this. This is a filbert, a very giant filbert, and they come in several different sizes. It's just a flat brush with a curve at it, and um, those are my favorites. They are my favorite, favorite, favorites, but you know, a girl needs to clean her brushes. So even the brush I'm using right now is just like, it's good for nice and doing lots of chunky work. And again, it won't, we will, we will tighten up, but you see, we're just putting the color down. Let's see, I only use lemon yellow and cadmium yellow for my paintings. How many yellows do you have? Well, I have Naples yellow, I have cadmium yellow, I have yellow ochre, um, and I have, a uh, there's probably another yellow in here somewhere. You kind of need to have a lot of different yellows. A lot of the yellows make different kind of stuff, especially if you're trying to save time. I always believe mix your colors as well, but that Naples yellow, mix it down with a little bit of the, with the color that I'm using for the localized um, skin tone-ish. I just kind of like it. It has a... It's almost like a white, kind of, but not really. It's, it's very, it's very peachy looking. Like sometimes I'll go to the store and I'll look out, I, I love, and I know this is a Sagittarius thing. And um, I'll go, I love new, new stuff, new colors. Um, sometimes I just want to see what I can mix with it. Um, yeah, I really probably should use some yellow ochre though. I think some yellow ochre would be great. Ugh, you can see like this little jelly popping out. Like, can y'all, can y'all see that? Ew. Ugh, it's not even jelly. It's probably oils. <laughs> it's probably congealed oil. Gross. Oh God. Actually, I don't know what this is. It feels, it pro actually, it probably is congealed oil and I just never... Ugh. Filbert is my favorite too. I'm painting with you. Yay! I'm so glad. I am so glad. What are you painting? This is cool. I'm like, this is like, this is like, um, 
like being in being in art school all over again. Like I I love other I think the best part about art school is other artists, period. Like you have access to other artists every every single day. And you get to be surrounded by that energy every single day. And I will always say people is kind of what makes the art so great. Like it's the people. And I think that's why I love portrait so much. So portraiture. I love bringing the beauty out of people, not just like their beauty. Like I want you to be able to see like, Hey, maybe they were kindness. Maybe, maybe they weren't so kind. Or I just want you to see how human they really are. And they really were, you know, I think that's, I'm, I'm more concerned about that. Go ahead and paint, baby. Like I'm still blocking in smaller shapes, but blocking in shapes. Ooh, when I get to paint even bigger, man. Oh God, I'd be having a ball. So his, I'm guessing like he's doing like like this or something. Um, the the reference photo is so old, and for some reason my my um, app that takes um, old photos and make it look more, I guess, like you can actually see who it is less bur blurry. It only did just the face, so I'm just gonna have to use my figure drawing classes skills and see if I remember. I do remember it wasn't that long ago, but still, like, we make mistakes. There's one time um, in my painting class, and I took I took a figure right with it, and I remember my teacher called me out, and it was hilarious because I was slow about it. I was like, what do you mean? I painted, I had, it was a beautiful painting, beautiful painting of two, of two, um, uh, a brown skin Asian woman and a very dark skin black woman and so great. But the, 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 um, dark skin Asian woman, she had, uh, <laughs> she had her, her hand like this and it was the wrong hand and I didn't realize it at all. <laughs> and I was in critique and you know what? I was just like, he, and then he said, you know, you'll learn, you'll learn, you'll learn about that. He was so sarcastic. <laughs> He said, you'll learn about that in, in figure. And I was like, I am taking figure right now. The, and that painting teacher was my figure, uh, my figure drawing teacher. So he was just like, yeah, you remember that? Remember that time you were in class? Remember those? <laughs> I was like, oh my God, he just called me out. I just laughed. I, I just, I was like, yeah, well, mistakes happen, man. And he was oh god he was he was picking on me I thought that was hilarious we, we had we had good times man good times good times I couldn't even I couldn't even do it. getting bad at it I'm painting flowers because I'm a little basic <laughs> left my ass off yo hey it ain't nothing wrong with basic here paint what you gotta paint paint what you wanna paint flowers are pretty flowers are pretty. And I would say there's nothing there's nothing interesting about painting a portrait per se. I feel like that's as basic as it gets. But I love portraiture. I, I absolutely love it. And when I say um, I will say the majority of my subjects since since I'm um, graduating are are all um, black women. Um, I don't get to let I don't get to paint a lot of black men because a lot of people don't commission um, portraiture of black men. I don't know what that is about but a lot of people don't commission that um or at least they don't give me those commissions sometimes I just be like all right that's why I can't sit here and wait for a commission to, to paint what I want to paint so I just gotta wake up and paint it's just it's a part of my life there's nothing wrong with nothing wrong with flowers I feel like people love portraiture but think still lives still lives are boring I mean let me tell you about this painting that I have been I saw it on society six and it is it is a 
collage of paint, like a collage of like different types of paintings, uh, not paintings, but different types of flowers. And it's so beautiful to me and so dark. And yeah, some people might, it's not, it's not the most interesting thing or whatever to some people, but I, you know, I like it. You like it. I think that's all that matters in that aspect. You know what I mean? That sounds so corny to say, like, like, you know, you say, you could be catch yourself repeating things that your parents, your parents taught you or whatever. And you're like, oh my God, am I becoming them? Although my mom isn't corny, but my dad, my dad's kind of, nah. They're, they're pretty cool, but I just feel like, ugh, listening to your parents. But it's like, yeah, do that. They, they know what they're talking about half the time. And they're right. At this point, like, do you like it? Like, that's all that matters. And there's ways to make still lives more interesting. Paint interesting. You can paint interesting objects. You could, like, maybe you, uh, what did Georgia O'Keeffe do? She painted the she painted um she painted them so close up that you didn't even know they were flowers or maybe you paint every painstakingly detailed or maybe you take those flowers and abstract the crap out of it like you know and that's if you're trying to be lively but for you when you paint for you do you don't worry don't worry too much about what other people think it's, it's really hard, and that's really hard to say. But all I can say is remember to love yourself and love your work. That's, that's, that's the best I can give. That's the best I can give when it comes to that kind of stuff. Because, um, you know, this is a very strong orange. And why am I painting it right here? Well, because I feel like it, so. And also I feel like I got so many colors going on here that it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. Now let me add some of that purple. Because his lips are very pink, but they're not that pink. So I need a, a stronger, let me mix this color real quick. A much stronger. Ooh, kill it. The purple is too strong in this one. Add a little yellow at its complement so we can pretend like pretend like we mixed it in the shop. We mix it in the shop and we mix paint for a living. That's you know, we just mixed it. You know, when you go to Home Depot and you ask for paint, they're like, oh my God, we don't do that. You have to get it mixed here. Um, you can't just be like, give me this paint. And I've been like, okay, that's fine. That's what, that's what redecorating has taught me. That you can't just go in and buy the paint. They have to mix it in the store for you. That way it's nice and, is it fresh? Like, why is that? I don't know. I don't know why they do that, but I don't know, that's something stupid to think about. Let me pull here some mush there. She got that, he got that 70s, he got that 70s mustache. Y'all know like my Uncle Big Rick right now look like black, black dynamite to me. Black dynamite. Oh, oh man. I wish I could hear, hear him. Um, I wish I could roast him just a little bit. <laughs> I wish I could roast him. <laughs> I wish I could tell him that roast real quick. That's, that's all. Hey, uncle. But you know, I, I, I have a feeling that he's still hanging around. I have a feeling that he's, he's hanging around. My like, really niece. Probably have a good, a good comeback too. Especially with, especially with my, um, hair. <laughs> uh. Swanson pants. Borello. He looks like black dynamite. You know, I can't say anything because I know my dad had a mustache just like that back in the 
And I'm like, my dad probably looked like Black Dynamite just as well. I'm looking at my uncle like, yeah, you. This is my mom's. This is my mom's favorite brother, by the way. So it's like. She always says, I never say that out loud. And I was like, but you just said it out loud to me. Like, <laughs> that's not the first time she's told me that. I thought that was really funny. Her older brother. Tighten that up a little bit. Maybe too tight. I could always, because I feel like his shoulder definitely has to be up here. So how about we climb up there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it with a small brush just because I can. So, and I'm too lazy to get the big brush. Unmotivated. So let's just, you know what? Some of that background color can get up here. Why not? Let's just dig through the paint real quick. Hmm, I don't know, I'm seeing that. I probably should have started off with his head even bigger. I don't know. I don't know. We will work with it. Cause I know I know he is sitting with my mother in this photo. And so yeah, I am I was trying to avoid using the big brush, but I'm gonna have to use the big brush. And I can tell that I should probably bring it here. Here's some clothes. I can see it's very faint, but I can see a line in that, like a fold in the fabric. Definitely see that. Okay. All right. Okay. And there's also a, let's just go ahead and Phase this out. Probably the bad thing about um, Ala Prima painting, but I, this is this is why it's a sculpture to me. You you put more clay on top, and then you smush it out, and then you keep it moving with your life. You know, it's so funny. I avoided oils until I went to art school. To my last art school really so technically went to two two different ones but um my last art school and I will never ever go back like I love acrylics for some aspects of course but the oils man I didn't know we were gonna be friends you know what I mean I used to be so stubborn at trying new things when it came to my art and now I'm just like, I want to try all kinds of things. And that's, I think that's why my um, channel is the way it is now, the way it's growing into. I want people to, like, it got to the point where people were just saying like, oh, you can't do that. You can't do that because of this. But there was no proof. Like, it's always like, well, maybe that will happen. Da -da -da -da. And I'm just like, what do you get from experimenting? And I, I know I, that comes from my science background. If you guys don't know, I was a chemistry major for three years. And I changed my major right when I was going to graduate <laughs> with a chemistry degree. And yeah, I did go for art. It got to the point, the reason why I went from art to chemistry and back to art, because I got, I wouldn't say I fell out of love with it, but I got inspired by a teacher who was so in love with art, not art, but with, with uh, chemistry. He was so in love with it. And I wanted to feel that passion again, that I was losing from being at the wrong, the wrong school. And that's why I always say, uh, especially in my, my live videos that we go on, um, what's that school called? What's, what Instagram, Instagram. And yeah, when we did it on Instagram, it was like, you know, we, we talked about that, that, like, take the time to find where you belong and that aspect where you can grow because I wasn't growing. And I, and then um, we got to the point where my professor, Dr. Ostrovia, 
she was like, she saw something I brought in class that I had made, and that was my my dog pet doll that I made. Um, I saw those on Etsy, and she was like, if I had time like this, and and the skill set, I would not be a scientist. Like, what are you doing here? And I said, you're right. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> and I I did know. I thought um, I wanted to just make money and pay for my art on the side and do YouTube while I was doing that. But turns out I'd rather be happy. So as lame as that is and as cliche as it is, it is part of the human condition to realize that you have to live for you. You know what I'm saying? You have to live for you. And like, oh gosh, one thing about like, oh, all my, all my younger friends, you know, I went back to school when I was 25, right? So I kind of, I, you know, I, I don't like to come off as I got it all figured out. I've just been in their shoes. I've been an adult longer. And I literally am just like, all that feeling that you're feeling, I felt it too. And I'm glad I can pass on some type of anxiety relief to a lot of my um, younger friends that I graduated with. What is that on his ear? Is it hair? Is it his neck? It's just a bright spot. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Because like that looks like his ear. Or is it his ear? Oh, wow. I don't remember. Okay. Um, we all we all finesse that. We just thank thank God for Smato because uh, I have no idea what that is supposed to be. Poor quality photos, guys. And then when you do commissions, that's what that's the first thing they're gonna do is give you a poor quality photo. I almost be mad. Like I'm at the point where I'd be mad at my clients, and I'd be I don't I don't even hide it. I just be like, bro, what am I supposed to do with this? So I got this app that will take away some of it because the majority of the commissions I get, the, the photos are so old. I'd be like, who is supposed to see this? I'm so used to it. So I, I got an app that turns old photos into kind of sharp quality one. And this one, they were like, you remember that thing that you had to do? They were like, you remember, you remember that scene? Well, here you go. And they they literally only focused one part of the photo. <laughs> just the face. So I'm sitting here like, I guess I'm just, yeah, I do remember what Uncle Big Rit looked like, but not I was not alive when this picture was taken. So I I can't can't really fathom. So we're winging it. Let me take this. I use lavender for his eyes and I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting the, the whites of his eyes. But again, you never use white. You never use pure white. I'm using lavender and look how it looks next to all that like the little the yellow and the I always say yellow, but it's it's yellowish. The tint is yellow. And um, it comes off as white without actually using white. Ironically though, because we use white, we use white, okay? We, we use the white. Okay. I need a detailed brush. Oh, I don't think I do. I think I need a, a dry brush. A nice. Oh, oh. Look, I'm like, come on, Kendra, use the filbert. I want to use the filbert. And I'm like, we're going to get to the filbert. You know how you get. You need to use. It's so funny now that I see a picture of my, my uncle younger, and I'm like, huh looks like me just a little bit not a lot but a little bit <laughs> love how it's like not a lot no shade 
but uh, not a lot. <laughs> Hmm. I'm babysitting a spot right now. That's not what I want to do. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and take a step back from my painting and check for proportion, anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Ah! Okay. Hmm. Well, I can tell my angle is off. Should I go ahead and fix that? Because I'm doing pretty okay without it. Oh no, it's not off. I just need to finish painting the eye. Um, the lips could be moved again. Eh, they don't need to be moved per se, but the angle is definitely wrong. What is going on with my reference? Let me just move it. Oh, well maybe if you could see the reference more clearly. Oh, you don't want that to fall. Well, sometimes that's just what happens. So we're just going to go ahead. I got this little tiny brush and we'll go ahead and fix that. See ya, Christina. Thank you for being here. Love you too. Okay. All right. And then, yeah. Okay. So that, that's in the right place. It's just this line here. This line here was a little, how are we doing on time? It's 540. It's 542. Okay. I need to pick up my speed. Normally, I, normally it takes me about six hours to paint. And my goal was to do the six hours on live, but if I finish beforehand, I'm good with that too. That's my average, by the way, of how like um, how long it takes me to complete a painting. So I would like to keep my average going. Well, let's, we could do some nose holes. <laughs> hey, remember that anatomy class that you took in advanced painting? Remember that? Remember the anatomy? Remember how you knew the words and they tested you on it? Yeah, I do. I still call it nose holes. Oh, clowning. Clowning. Repaint the eye again. And... Okay, I can switch to back to that. Ooh, this is a tiny, a tiny little filbert. Or is it? Yeah, no, this is just a flat. Couldn't tell because it's so dirty. And um, I need some umber. Let's, let's stay together. You know something cool about my uncle? He was known as the Cha Cha King. He could cha-cha like nobody's business. And the cha-cha in my family is a very important dance step that you need to know how to cha-cha so you can dance to the music. It's a very simple dance. And to this day, I still dance like my daddy. But they don't ever stop me from dancing, even though my cha-cha is OK. <laughs> Uncle here. He was the cha cha king. Yeah, like in our telling video, I'm just going to go ahead and move. I mean, it looks right to me. Let me see if I can. Let's see. Let's see. Brooklyn Mouse, are you going to do more doll stop motion? I am. Um, let me tell you, like, I'm going to move this a little bit so I can see a little bit more. Um, but let me tell you about that, actually. I held auditions and a hundred and something people looked at it and I know they all looked at it because that's just how my analyticals work for uh, the blog post that I made about that and ain't nobody auditioned there was there was inquiries about it there was so much about it there was so many and I was like okay ain't nobody auditioned so I had to go back and find my more fox pro and I'm just gonna wing it 
and I only have like three actors who were really like gonna do it. So, and I wrote this series and I really wanna see, I, it's like a drama. Um, I try to do a dramedy, but I don't know when it comes to comedy, um, comedy writing, I'm, I'm not the, I will admit I'm not the strongest, but I want this to be a drama. So maybe the next season it won't be, a, it'll not be a dramedy. I don't know. Um, but I, I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to have to be Tyler Perry about it. And I see why Tyler Perry does everything, but now that he has money, he don't got to do everything. So, but yeah, we're still going to do that. This is Angie94565. Your painting is great. Thank you. Although we're still, we're still painting. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Right now we're just laying down shapes and um, slowly correcting any mistakes, which there are several, but we just, we're just winging it. We're not even winging it. We know what we're doing. Why do I say we? <laughs> I know what I'm doing, but to the naked eye, we winging it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm, I'm having so much fun, guys. So if you guys are working on stuff, tell me what you're working on. I know Allosaurus is working on some uh, still life. If, if you aren't working on, what are, what are, you, what are you guys doing? Are you just sitting here watching? What you, what you doing today? And if, and if you can't answer that one, just go ahead and tell me about your day. I don't mind. We're going to be here for a while. That's why I said you guys want to dip in and dip out. I'll be here. It'll take... My average is about five, five, six hours. So my goal is to get this finished on live. So I will be here. And it's getting dark. And so I can already, I'm already starting to see that it's getting kind of, not dark, but I am kind of, ooh, what is that? Oh, sir, rude. Let me go ahead and see. I just need to get some of the glares out because, oh, that was good. Okay, I can see. The time of day is changing here. So it's it's officially 548. So we started at four o'clock. Look, look, I'm already wanting to tickle, to tickle the shapes smooth and leave the parts chunky where I want it. But no, not there yet. We are still constructing. So the more time, the more time we babysit our what's the word we're looking at? Our anatomy. The more time, the more time spent babysitting the anatomy in the early stages, the easier it will be if you do make like little minor mistakes, the further along the painting comes. Let's see. Nada. God, why don't I wash my brushes? Why don't I wash these things? Why do I do this to myself? Baby, why do you do this to yourself? Because, let's see, just a little cooking, whole wheat, rotini, salmon, and some garlic bread. That sounds delicious. Get your cook on. That sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. That sounds fun. I, would, I, would, I haven't cooked. I haven't cooked while well, I'm fasting right now. So, but I, I love to cook. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And there's no more more questions. So I'm just gonna keep on keep on trying. So, Set freedom, freedom in the zone. Da, 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 da. I said freedom. You know, all this so funny. I used to like these are kind of things that my dad would always do, and I can already tell it. 
I need to like, why is this like, is this face really that slim? And I'm looking at his picture like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Why did I make him so meaty? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and start sculpting even further. I can already tell my anatomy is a bit off. As long as we see it early and there's ways to fix it. As long as the paint is wet, you can do pretty much anything. Okay, let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now I say I need to have what my look at Professor Rimlard would say. You need to have more nuance. Don't tell him like he doesn't really sound like this, but today he sounds like this. So you need to have more nuance. Yes, he's right. You do need to have more nuance, meaning subtle, a little subtlety in that line. Okay. And I can already tell, you know, one of the things that they do, um, some, some um, art professors were brutal, like they're gone now, but some of them were brutal in the sense that at least this is just the stories I heard. I never had anyone that was this brutal. They wouldn't even ask you if they could fix something on your painting and they would just start taking the brush and start messing with stuff. And uh, other, other, professors, which the majority of them know better in the sense that that's rude. And as artists, we are so sensitive about our work and there is nothing wrong with that. You should be sensitive about your work because you're human. If you're not human, why are you a robot? And if you have more of a backbone, good. But I don't think we should expect other people to be like that. There's no wrong being sensitive. You can be sensitive. What did a uh, was it Mary J. Blige? She's like, I'm sensitive about my shit. And I said, yes, honey, me too. Me too. Me too, boo-boo. That doesn't mean you can't critique things, though. Critiquing is good. But we just got another difference between being critique critiquing and being cruel. Um, but I have no mean oh god I actually do have a story where I was just like um where the teacher really the, the professor was like and I was like I had I've had a moment but it wasn't over painting that's the funny part it was performance art stuff <laughs> oh the things you have to learn so you so you could be a well-rounded artist in, in school it's hilarious like I will always forever be grateful but at the time I thought it was so stupid but it's like it it made me a better artist and a better creator so you can't even get mad at the stuff they force you to do but again I had that I had the attitude where to to humble myself so I could learn um, and that I didn't get that until I was 25, man, when I went to school with a different mindset. That's how I was able to graduate. I have professors like that. They put a bunch of irreversible dark paints uh, all over the painting and they said the darkest parts should be this dark. I'd have been like, whoa, sir. <laughs> Yeah, see, we don't, that, that doesn't create a, a good learning environment. Um, that mean type professor, I don't know, I'd be like, dude, what is wrong with you? Why? Like, you know, um, we, those professors that I'll, if you let you know, they don't, they don't last very long. We'll save that for grad school, you know, we'll save that energy for grad school because at that point you, you should. Your undergrad, I'm just, I'm like, what I just completed, I'm like, eh, cute you know, but save that energy for grad school with, with more adult version of artists. <laughs> Cause when you're just coming out or I don't even say more adult version with more less advanced, you know, you're just getting used to if it's your first time in art school, you're getting used to that environment and you don't want to, you don't want to be turned off forever. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But, but it makes me feel better that those, 
those uh, type of professors do not last long. Um, and then it depends, it depends. Like I, I personally am not the kind of uh, artist who does pretty well when somebody babysits me, do you know what I mean? Um, by babysit, like they'll hover over the painting and um, all that kind of stuff. I, I don't do well in that environment. So I'm just like, you know, just leave me alone. Like, let me paint, go away. If I ask you for help, uh, which I might or might not, I don't like, you know, that's the kind of person I am, but uh, it's the kind of person I am because how I was raised, my mom, it was I had a very flower child type of upbringing where I kind of just yeah I had someone watching me but I kind of like especially during summers I just kind of had to figure out what I was going to do and I would uh, yeah there was camp sometimes but I hated it I hate the structured environment of that like I really liked to do my own thing and my parents really allowed me to just do my own thing growing up like there was there's this picture of me with my brother and um it was we you know like they made us play t-ball and um I I'm wearing it's like the middle of summer and I'm wearing a mitten like a not a mitten but like a, a knitted glove on one hand in the photo and my mom was like I don't know what we were on about that I think you were trying to be Michael Jackson or something and I said, I could not tell you what I was doing, but I think I just wanted to wear one hand, one glove, just and like my parents never over over corrected me about stuff. They just, they just let me be weird. I just let me exist. And I, I will forever be grateful to them for that. That I could just like, yeah, they, I'm not gonna lie. They still clowned me. Oh my God. Like, did you guys see my last video? Um, did you see the bonus? It's like towards the end, my mom clowned me a little bit. Uh, I accidentally got it on camera, so I put it. I left it in the video, and um, I called her, and she was like, she she clowned on my little my pin my what was it my pin um, my pillbox hat hairstyle. She said you look like you about to read a fortune. She said more, but that was the part that I thought was the cutest. So I left it. I left that part in there. <laughs> oh, my parents still clown me, but they never made me feel completely like, like, oh yeah, this kid is so weird. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was weird, but it was all with love and fun. It was so funny. Let's see, Lil Miss Kitten 83. Welcome, by the way. I wish I had your parents. Oh. Um, Oh, that's so sweet. Your parents not, you know, sometimes with, uh, sometimes with parents, they have a, they have a very, very hard job. And sometimes the love that they're giving to you, while albeit could be better, I just want you to know that most likely deep down in their hearts that they, they care about you and at the end of the day, that's kind of all you can really ask for, you know. And as you become older, you you realize that you have to spend time re-raising yourself. So that's okay. We're all doing that. You know what I mean? Because I will tell you, one of the things that I was really bad at was keeping a room clean. And like, my mom... The way she grew up, um, out in, out in the rough parts, the rough parts of California, um, y'all. Oh, that's all I can say. Like sometimes, sometimes your your parents' childhood is definitely haunting them, and it shows. But they, you know, they did. You alive? I don't want to. I don't want to be like that either. Like, your your feelings are always valid. You know what I mean? They're always valid. All right. I'm still adding more skin tones, and I can't wait to flush this baby out in some places. Leave it kind of smoky in some other places. Whew. 
I get so excited about paint. That sounds so nerdy, but this is my nerdy part. This is, yeah, I'm nerdy about dolls, but I'm also nerdy about paint and uh, art supplies and pigments. I love it. Oh, I wonder if my ancestors, well, actually, I actually do know. I don't know what my, um, my great, great, great grandfather on my mom's side, and I don't know what he really did, like, like his business wise, I'd have to ask her, but um, he basically we're survivors of Tulsa, the Tulsa massacre. And he had a business and it's like, I wonder what he did because there's gotta be some reason why I get so excited about paint in a very weird way. <laughs> I get so nerdy about it. I'm just like, oh, the pigment, ah, I get so excited. I wish I was skilled like you. Oh, thank you, Brooklyn Mouth. But you know, where I am right now, this is this is years of this is years. Like um, I will say I only started painting oils. Uh this is my fifth year since 2021. This is my fifth year working with oils. And you need to sit down and give yourself the time without that feeling of anxiety, really manage your anxiety when you're learning something new and allow yourself to learn something new. Cause I'm not going to act like I have it all together. Cause um, I'm, I'm learning woodworking right now. You guys, I, I, I don't know if you guys are following me on Instagram, but if you do, um, I post a lot of work in progress of my woodworking stuff. You know, I'm behind right now, but um what shirt is this? Is it a collared shirt? All I see is blur. Um, give your give yourself the time to use this stuff if you really want to do that. Like for me, I just love art. Like I realized that when I chose my major as um, drawing and painting because it was two things, and I was like, "Are you saying I can't get a degree in everything?" <laughs> but I did took I did take everything pretty much everything I could I took sewing I took fabric science I took pattern making I took um of course they make you take 3d but I took um wheel throwing and I took um metal metal classes I wish they had a shop class so gorgeous thank you welcome back Sophia uh I have an acrylic paint set Ooh. Ooh, I started off with acry with acrylics. Um, I, I that's when I found that I just enjoyed painting. But when I discovered oils, man, them acrylics, they cute. They cute. That's how everyone gets started, though. They can't get mad at something that's so accessible to people and bringing people to the craft because no matter what happens to the world, there will always be artists. That I can guarantee to you. That need to create is lying within a lot of us. It is lying within you, just waiting for you to tap into it. Okay. All right, still don't know what we're doing on this side, but he's starting to look like a human being, a human being, a human being, human being, a human being. That is what he's looking like. Thank you, God. He looks human. All right, can't wait to go into that, my details. It's very relaxing when you paint or draw. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Little Miss Kid said, Hoom Bing, yes. Hoom Bing, it's like Hoom Bing, guys. Thank God. <laughs> Thank the gods. It's a Hoom Bing. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm playing around too much. I'm glad, I'm glad you guys find this relaxing. Um, I will we'll try to paint. I want to say every two weeks, but I really want to do this every week, but we'll be, we'll play it by ear and I'll do what I did 
um, this time I planned for it. Like last time I last, we were supposed to do this last Sunday, but I ended up, you see the, the mirror in the background? I ended up making that mirror. And um, I realized that I needed to figure out how I was going to do this. So then I was like, hey, I have a laptop. And then I had to have my, like, you know, I have the camera here so I can read. Even though I, I find that this is pretty easy, I can just, I thought I was going to be so engrossed in what I was doing that I would never know what's going on in the background. But now I'm doing it and I'm like, oh. This is, this is okay. I probably didn't need this set up. But it looks professional. I look like I done did some. I done did some. I don't know what I did. Done did, but I did, 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 did. Y'all, I play too much. I play around. My nickname, my nickname for my um, older brother growing up was Goofy. And now you know why. And he used to be like, I'm not goofy. I'm like, yes, I am. <laughs> you should try to paint an angel. Try to paint it. Well, technically I am painting an angel. Um rest his soul. I hope that's I hope that's actually I don't believe in heaven or hell. I just believe that we get I just don't. I, I don't believe that. You know, eh, I don't believe in that. I believe there's more mercy. Mm. That's so funny you said that, but yeah, technically I'm painting him. I'm painting an angel. Rest his soul. Look, I'm going to go ahead and put that very strong line there. And there's a reason. This is my Uncle Big Rick who passed recently. That's why that's why I didn't come out with a video on Wednesday. I had just gotten the news that he passed. And he was 64, man. Way too young. But he died. We found out that he died of natural causes. So, yeah, don't, don't. It's okay. You know, this is, this is a part of life. And yeah, I was uh, very upset about it, but after talking to my mom um, and finding out that he died of natural causes, he didn't die of the virus, um, that, that just, you know, made me feel a little bit, a little, little bit better. But one of the things that is really hard right now um, is that being in California right now is pretty, pretty scary. At least he died happy. I don't know if he died happy, to be honest. I, I think I think we all kind of get a little bit of peace. I hope we do. Thanks, Sally Soros, for coming. Hope I hope you do catch the next stream. If you go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Seasonal Frostbite, or if you already do, then I will make sure I alert you guys for lives, for at least YouTube lives. Instagram lives, I'm still gonna keep it keep it commando and uh what's the word I'm looking for? Uh random. Like I just pop up. Like, you know what, guys? I feel like talking. So I'm here. And y'all be those who catch it, catch it. That's that's how I've always been. <laughs> but for YouTube, I'll be a little bit more structured, stru structured, structured. For YouTube, I'll be a little bit more structured. And at least giving you a heads up so y'all can come through and say, what up? What up, though? I don't really want to use white, but it kind of it kind of works there. Yes, bud. <laughs> Pretty good. Now I'm just like, where is this going to hang, man? You are like, sometimes... Sometimes um, this is because when I first started painting, like for commissions, I was 17. Oh, actually, it might have been 16 on 17. But um, um, yeah, I think I was 17, actually. But um, I, I used to, you, I'd have to, I was painting with the, with the artist, not the artist, but the viewer in mind all the time. 
And so sometimes I'll sit here and be like, well, where is it going to go? Who's going to hang it? What colors is it going to be? Is it going to, is it going to be neutralized? But for this, I think, I think I want something funky. Something funky. Oh, this brush don't look good here. Well, if you make big strokes, you'll be okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. It's really starting to look like him. It really is. Usually you always pop up when I'm sad or just feeling blah and need a good smile now and then. Oh, I'm glad. I'm so glad that I can do that. You could give the painting to his lover so she always has him. Well, actually the painting is going to my fam. Uh, it's going out to my family in California and I'm thinking like his kids, um, Lil Rick, but we still, I still haven't decided what's gonna happen to it. But um, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think Uncle, Uncle Big Rick was dating nobody. He was a little, he was a little, uh, well, he was a very beloved man. That's that's what uh, I will politely say. <laughs> it's so funny because like, it's like, I, I would love to just say it to his face, but I'm gonna say, hey, you know, he, he knows, he knows I said it, <laughs> he can hear it. <laughs> and it's all love. That I know he'll know. It's like, I love him already. I would hug him tight and just say, you are amazing. Aw. That's so sweet. You have a lot of empathy, and I really appreciate that. Whoever raised you, a very good job. And even if it was you who raised you, you did a very good job. That empathy... We need way more of that and that compassion. We need way more of that today. And I think people are slowly becoming the change we need to see these days. Hmm. Now I know I need a... Um, I know I'm gonna need to start doing some detail brushes. I don't think I've had to work this small on a painting, but it's like the like the last video I did, I literally did a miniature. So I I need to stop all that. Like, oh girl, what was you doing? I see the world with color and basically energy. I love that. I love, I love everyone to be honest. That's good. That's very good. We need, we need all that. We need lots of that. Plus that energy. I'm kind of giving him. He looks more awake in this photo, so I'm gonna have to take that white of his eye. And I actually need a smaller brush. So let me. Yeah, it's a bit wider. I would like to do some more of the, but I want a medium sized brush. Do I have a good medium? Well, there's a nice medium sized filbert. Let me just dry it out some. I'm going to take my brush like this. And I'm just going to you gotta make that afro texture real quick. Make that uh and I'm using this medium sized brush because I need it to match the brush strokes I got, I guess. And it's just gonna come out looking nicer. You know, this is that this is the old school fro, but I still wanna get some nice textures. But not too much. We don't wanna we wanna paint it on. Okay. You know what? I probably should have some water. 
I'll probably need to drink some water soon. See, most people come to me for my positivity and loving nature. I am basically the mom in the friend group I have. <laughs> oh, is this? Oh, that's so cute. Oh. We need that. We need that positive energy. We need, oh, we need a lot of stuff, man. But we need more people like you. And I, and I personally genuinely believe that people are genuinely good. If we all really want the same thing, we do. What did Dave Chappelle say in that um, wife swaps? We all, we all, we all eat meals and, and take care of our children and have a place to lay our bed headed. What did he say? And wash. That <laughs> was so weird. Um, the the Chappelle show that used to be my thing when I was growing up. That was so funny. <laughs> You know, I don't really see that color. I'm gonna, am I exaggerating this color? Well, I see more like a, this color, but it's got a little more yellow in it. So I'm gonna take I'm going to take some of my, oh, I kind of just mixed yellow ochre just now. So let's just add a little yellow ochre to this color. Yep, that's what's going to happen. Little, little yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. Hmm. You don't, let's see, you don't want to slap it on. You want to feel his energy come through your body that's how I do it I'm usually an abstract artist my parents like didn't understand there is nothing wrong with being an abstract artist and I I just do what I feel in that aspect as well I, I don't do um I can abstract but I personally I don't do that with oils you can like you see how you could smudge it out or so I don't want it to be so realistic that it's a photograph. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Must be deep in, must be out of my feet. I wonder what he would think. This is one of those things where it's like, man, I should paint my family members when they don't pass. Because that would be better. It would be so much a much happier occasion. But you know, my people call it a homegoing for a reason. He went to his real his real home. Where all our ancestors go. My ex used to call me his wildflower. I'm not sure why. That's a weird thing. It's actually kind of cute though. That's cute. My, my husband calls me Spud. <laughs> we call each other Spud. I don't know. He, he always comes up with strange names. And that one kind of stuck over the years. So I was just like, eh, that's fine. Potato. Let's put some of that. Let's put some of that in there. Oh, yeah. Now I can see that his, there's a little bit, there's a little bit, as Professor Rimmler would say, nuance. And I'm just, he doesn't sound like this, but today he sounds like this. But, but it's a uh, nuance. Must be deep. Oh, now that I see something, there's like a little bit of a break in right there. I know that's really dark, but I need to make a note of that. So. I'll just blend it out a little bit with it. It's just a little, is it a bump? I don't know, maybe just a crevice in his skin. The light is showing me it's there and I want it there, so. Oh, no, I need to use that uh, red color that I, well, 
it's like a, I mix my own sienna. I don't know why I, I have sienna. I don't know why I always end up mixing it. I call my new boyfriend Alistair. Many things, my cousin and I call each other peanut head. That's funny. <laughs> That's what we call my neighbor back in the day. We call him peanut, peanut head. Well, my older, my older cousin thought like he was the cutest thing and would call him that. We just called him Everett because that's his name. But I thought it was funny. That's a funny memory. Peanut head. Reminds me of the Proud family and like the little peanut guy. And the, was it the Proud family movie where they have the little peanut guy? Do you guys remember that? Like, oh my God. We had jokes. Black people got jokes, man. I didn't think that. <laughs> we got jokes. Oh my gosh. For days. For days. I obviously need a smaller brush for right here. But and now I think, now I think I have, I'm going to go ahead and take another step back and look once again. But. Before I do that, I feel as though these lips definitely hold up. Our stash is actually bigger than, than uh, we let on. So let's go ahead and make that stash. Make that stash go. I I make that stash go. Let's see. I have jokes, but they are dark jokes. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you on that. That's why my, my, my homegirl, my homegirl Kiwi. And we we be having some jokes where I'm like, that was very morbid. Should not be funny. But I think that comes with our generation. Definitely comes with our generation. Just sometimes you, sometimes at this point, you just have to laugh. And if you don't laugh, I don't know where you, like, where are you going to be in the next uh, 10 years? Because you got to have a sense of humor for these days. You have to. It's so stress relieving. Love me out of my feet. No soul can the enjoying of company. I don't know if I like that there. And the tears will dissolve into thin air. Drinking up this good love and life. See, I laughed at a Kit Kat commercial about a guy landing on a Kit Kat. The Kit Kat broke and he fell off into the abyss. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm more like, poor Kit Kat. That poor delicious Kit Kat. This is so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. Man, I miss being able to eat. Um, Kit Kats and Reese's and stuff like that. They're they're too sweet for me now. Like, ah, uh, what is was that a? I, oh, I got a text message. I got a text message. That was loud. I have look. I got the MacBook. I got the iMac over here. I got the 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 iPhone. The iPhone and the iPad. So it's like everything is connected together. So like it's loud. That was really loud. Oh man, I'm getting kind of sleepy. Getting kind of sleepy. Yeah, I need to drink some water. I don't want to scream and get Ed to come bring me my libations. Yeah, 
I need I need some water. If I'm I'm usually never tired at this time. So if I'm tired around this time, I I, I need to drink me some some waters. Some waters. What a Brooklyn Mouse 94 look. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. I miss eating food because I get I get too sick. Oh yeah, um, look, I miss me eating right now. I'm fasting right now, man. I'm gonna go ahead and take a step back and just look. This is checking your work like this. This is how that we we learned. We learned from school. So free tip. Did you guys didn't have to go to art school for that? For that free tip. YouTube University. Yeah. Um, it looks proportion wise like I'm I'm in the right ballpark. Which is good. That means I can really get into my details um, and figure out what I want to keep soft and what I what I want to focus on. And of course, in a portrait, in a portrait, our eyes is going to be that's it's going to be the the main focus always. I mean, you can make it something else. Like for my figure paintings, it's the body. It's the body. It's not really, you know. What time? 6.30. Ooh, we're doing good on time. Do you prefer Monster High or Ever After High dolls? Ooh, that's a hard one. I think when it comes to the girls. Oh, can you get me some water, please? You've been here for like four hours. Are you need a real man to come and do this for you? Really? And take I'm... it to that lump. Really? Real man would have finished by now. I'm sorry. How many years of painting have you been? 25. Just bring me some water, please. Mm. <laughs> that's a real hard When it comes to girls, when it comes to girls, Monster High. When it comes to the boys, Ever After High. Definitely. Okay. There's not enough boys in the, the Monster High universe. That, like, the dolls that they actually made. Let's see. My mom made chicken and dumplings. I had a, I had a huge bowl. And, uh, oh, was it too rich? Oh, man. Listen, I had some chicken and dumplings not that long ago, and it was delicious, absolutely delicious. Um, I have my sister's friend, and he's also uh, a family friend. Well, he's like family, basically. And listen, boo boo, he cooked like his grandma, and. Them chicken and dumplings. Oh, honey. I said, I never had that before, but I had it. I said, this is delicious. Oh, my God. It tastes like I can feel my ancestors happy. You know, you ever tap, have a food? Like when you eat the uh, chitlins or you just feel like, like, oh, man, this tastes like, it tastes like love. You know what I'm saying? It tastes like. It tastes so familiar, even if it's I, I've never had it before. It tasted like something familiar. It's so weird. Like it just never had it before, but something tells me my ancestors were pleased. They're like, look at that, look at that, look at that over Like back in my day. We had some chicken. I'd be like, listen, I didn't know about that. I, you know, I, there was nobody to teach me till today. <laughs> My mom's is so good. Ah, oh, that sounds so. Yes. Praise, praise mama today. Give, give her some praise because apparently that dish is really hard to make well in 2021 these days. If you don't know what you're doing. My little son, honey. You know, one thing I eat to this day, I know I never stopped eating, but but one thing that I love to eat, no matter what, like especially in my family, when my mama makes them, and then the way the way I learned to make them too, 
collard greens. Absolutely love them so much. Not, not just like the way we're supposed to eat them with the little ham hock. I'm talking about the like the real like you can stir fry it. You can do all types of different ways. Love just love collard greens in general and kale. I love me my dark greens. And then um the other day I made me some pork bone soup. Some pork bone soup um uh, collard greens. Man, that would mess was so good. It was so good. But you know, my to go, my if you guys want a really to go, a very lazy, lazy recipe, some chili oil, some cut up tomatoes, salt and pepper them, a fried egg on top, and uh, bread and like potato bread. That's the sandwich. It's so simple and it's so good. Yeah, we had some trouble, but it came out. See, look. You just go in there and you know what I mean? You go in there and the ancestors tell you how to make it. They'll tell you. It always feels like a ritual. Like I'm going here. I'm tickling, I'm tickling the, the mustache. Man, it's so funny how like well, we still like beards to this day. That's that's the man's makeup. Good beard. You know what? Uncle Big Rick still had this beard, so <laughs> he still had this beard. He looked like I claim him. <laughs> Ew, no tomatoes. I hate tomatoes. Listen, don't knock it till you try it. It is so good. It is so, so, so good. Season that tomato with that chili oil. Put it in there. But I will say a lot of reasons why people don't like tomatoes these days is because you need to have a, a you need to, that means you need to grow them yourselves because uh, some of these, like, um, so my husband's Mexican. And so in Mexico, when they have like like some of the dishes that they'll have, like will just be like their salads are literally like cut up tomato and avocado and some lettuce, right? That's it. It's not mixed together and you kind of eat it with your food, but like the produce here doesn't taste that good. So uh, when you do that here, it's like, eh. But in Mexico, the produce is so much fresher. It's kind of like this year or last year, I smelled real flowers for the first time, like roses. I used to think roses didn't smell like anything. Um, turns out roses smell so sweet. And it turned out that I just never smelt, I never smelt of a rose that wasn't picked, you know? And, it, and it's so it's such a shame that they I don't that people care about what they look like and I'm like they smell better when they are still attached to the vine. So till this day I never like picking flowers. Like if um I don't like picking flowers. I still like to receive flowers, but if I definitely prefer a plant that is going to be replanted, you know, in a garden somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and get. Get my little my little itty bitty brush. Clean it off as best I can. Oh, he got that song stuck in my head. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not the best you ever had. Share one more drink with me. Smile even though you're sad. Do you look lonely? Da 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 I don't look the same. Maybe I've lost weight. 
I'm playing hooky. The best of the best. Put your heart on your chest so that you can see it too. I'm walking a long road, watching the sky fall. The best of the best. Da -da 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 -da. How can I live? A better, a better Oh, letting the waterfall a better Oh, seats are fitting for happily ever after. Oh, how could I ask for more? You got to keep replying paint to it. Yes, you do. Got to definitely got to keep replying paint to it so it stays. But then now you have too much paint. So do, 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 do. you know what I'm trying to do this year? I am trying to use less water bottles and get a bretta I'm trying to do that this year I'm trying to it's, it's gonna be really hard but worth it for the environment take small steps take some small steps i don't know guys like is it done um it doesn't feel done yet, but I am on, what are we on? It's, ooh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're almost, what, four, five, six, look, four, five, six. We still, we're still pretty early. Like I wouldn't call this done. I, I would still babysit a little more details, just a little more. And I already need to mix more red. shop towels like they're really good for like um you spill you spill some acetone on them they don't really go all the way through like they're pretty they're pretty tough i see why they have them in in um uh places where they work on cars you definitely see why and now i'm just adding in places that got lost it's just little maples make it a little lighter because he has tailor bags and we need to we need those tailor bags to come out so you can tell he's kin to me actually i don't really 
I'm just fat. I don't have Taylor bags, according to my mama. She didn't call me fat, but I'm, you know, I said, uh, I noticed that when I was heavier, like y'all saw that last video I posted in October, man, I was, I was the heaviest I had ever been. I'm so glad I lost all that weight, but still, like, dang, I, mm -mm. lockdown, lockdown did something to me. I was, I stress ate so bad. You know, I don't know if I want to use a filbert for this, but we, we got to make do with what we got. Even though I have a flat, oh, come on, I don't want to get paint on my face, but I probably am going to get paint on my face. I always seem to get paint on my face. I was looking at Mousey. I've been on staring on, oh, I've been streaming on YouTube and Twitch for playing video games. I just made my Patreon page. Congratulations. The painting looks awesome. Thank you. I feel like we're almost done. Like um, I'm at the point where I am tickling. I'm like, I'm just tickling what needs to be that sounds so weird. Tickled. I'm tickling what needs to be tickled, but um, like a uh, yeah, I gave him a chin. He don't. I don't think actually he does have a chin like that. Okay, looking at the reference photo, but um, congratulations on your stream and your you're launching that creation. Like everyone. Do, do what you love. That sounds dope. Send me your little, I don't, I don't watch Twitch a lot, but um, if you go on Instagram and send me your Twitch, um, I'll give it to my husband and he'll most likely watch you because he, he likes to watch Twitch. It's a new hobby that he came up, came up out of the blue with that I think is so cute. It's so cute when he has hobbies. So cute. I'm like, oh, it's like, you know, you be married to someone for a while, and you're like, oh my god, like, um, I'm discovering a new you every single day, and I think that's really beautiful. You know, it's like, oh, what do you like now? You like that? Oh, and so how how we grow into different people. Every day, I think that's really cool. Humans are cool. Doing human things. Changing and growing. Let's see. I mean, yeah, totally, totally send me that. I would love to go see that. Let's take some of this. What color is this? I think this is this isn't yellow ochre. This is what is it? Just ochre? Is that a real thing? I don't remember. What is this called? This is raw sienna, right? Yeah, it's raw sienna. I don't want some of my green to show up in there, so let's get that green. Look at that green, baby. Look at that green. Put that green some places. Oh my. You saw my husband came over here and he was, I don't know if y'all heard him talk about a real man could get this done. Da, 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 da. That's just how he talks. He tries to, he likes to pick on me. But I'm like, I've always taken about four or five hours, six max to paint always have sometimes when I'm having an off day like I had an off day I had an off day painting and I've had to I've had to stop painting and go to bed and come back and just start from scratch and repaint the entire thing because you know I paint wet on wet so if the paint is dry 
is not good for me. <laughs> not that it, you know, sometimes you'll go back to it, but I use a lot of thinner. So sometimes I'll go back and the painting is, um, is still, it's wet in places where I need it to, well, it's dry in places where I need it to be wet. You know what I mean? You know, let's see where, where am I? Okay, okay, so I'm trying to light color that's coming up here to this little patch, little patchy patch, little patchy patch. Okay. At least I got, I'm pretty excited. I got a book to model for the museum this month. I'm excited about that because I'm going to use the money I get from that to probably pay some bills. Most Probably, most likely that's where that's going to go. But also give me some opportunities to save for the big studio. That's going to be cool. It's going to take a while to save, but I think it'll be worth it. A much bigger studio. Oh, let's go we'll build that. It's going to be awesome. No, I can already tell that I, I need a flat brush. Ooh. Let's find one with a good corner. Well, I could, no, this is too small. I'm more doing a fleshing out right now. Here, this brush. Did I use this? No, I didn't use this brush. I don't think so. Or maybe I did. It's got some fresh paint on it. Well. Okay, let's go ahead and add. Let's construct that nose, Uncle. Come on, Unc. Let's get, let's get it popping. Okay. Well, let me get your eyebrow. Let's flesh that out. He was a good looking man when he was bit sober. You know what? He the cool thing about my uncle is that no matter if he'll get out of that rehab or, or wherever he was at and he loses his muscles and then he go right back to the gym in two weeks he have his muscles right back. Always had him some muscles. Him and my uncle Bill Bill. Muscles heads, muscle head. Would they call men gym rats? I'm calling them gym rats. They were gym rats. That's so funny. That's so funny. Get a little bit of the for his upper lip here. Get a little bit of. This is the part, uh, this is the part where you get to babysit. You get to babysit details. Babysit the details. And like, you know, gosh, am I gonna get this framed? I don't really know, but I'm gonna keep going with the, 
do some eye, do some eye work. I'm gonna go a little close, a little close. Boom. Go a little bit closer so I can just see just a little bit better. A little bit better. This eye was very, very, very. Don't worry, I'm, I'm, I, did, I did a pretty good job making you look decent. My mom said, anybody? So my mom has seven sisters and there were three boys. Seven sisters and three boys, right? And so total, so the seven sisters and three boys. Um, and anybody would ever talk, anybody, anybody in the neighborhood talk anything bad about Uncle Ricky, um, they go fight them. They would. They go beat their ass. That's what they would do. Anybody say anything about their big brother, they went. They all went to go beat their ass. <laughs> and you ain't tell you what you say about my brother. Da -da -da -da. Everybody love them. Love them some Ricky. I love hearing my my um my mom's childhood stories. I like absolutely love it. Absolutely love her stories. Um absolutely love my mama's stories. All right. Y'all remember that dark color I said earlier? Sometimes you're gonna need a strong, a strong color. Well, I think I'm gonna need some strong color, but I think I got it without, I didn't have to squirt some new um, Mars black. Didn't have to do that. I just mixed, I just mixed. And now, oh, oh crap, the brush was dirty. Crape, carpe diem, which is not, <laughs> I don't, I, don't, I don't know why I said it like that. So in love with you Whatever I want to do All I will be Let's, let's stay together. Loving you well. Well, Taylor just sent me a message. I have to look. I have to read it when I'm done. I think I got a couple text messages. One from an old, old friend and one from somebody uh another well another old friend i wouldn't say old old because i know the other girl much longer like high school longer so i'm gonna read her text message definitely soon yeah i really like i really like how colorful it is I don't know if you can see how colorful it is on camera per se. Let me see if I, is there more light I could take off? No, let me see. Is there another light on it? I don't know, I just feel like the colors don't pop as well as in person. Hey, that's why you gotta go see the works in person, huh? That's actually why you have to, they teach you how to photograph your art as well. Oh crap, this brush just broke. No, the hairs. This must have been a cheap brush. Yeah, I can tell. This was a cheap brush. Okay, so I'm not too worried about it, but I was using you and you just broke. Oh my God. 
You definitely weren't made for oils. Darn, I need a round spotter like that. Well, let's see. Aha! There's something clean here that I can use. Darn, that brush, that brush got taken out. Its life ended here. Oh no. Oh no! Hmm. Let's stay together. Loving you and I, and I, and I'm as good as I feel that we said. Now, what's wrong with that? Well, because he has like a real, I'm going to take the blue. I like the blue. Roll some of that paint off. And let's sculpt it into this eyelid. I'm still, how goes it today? Fine, folks. Hey, Red, Red Dragon Schmung. Hey, hey, Boo Boo. Welcome. We're just in time. We just, we just in time. You've been here since four o'clock. We started at four. It is seven o'clock. So we're down to four hours. So I have about one. I will, I'm going to give myself one more hour to finish. If I need it, maybe 30 more minutes. And then we're going we to uh, rest up and um, head on out. Because I'm already at my details. I'm already at my details. I need more nuance in this here. That's Professor Greenwood. We need to have more nuance right here. Nuance. Why does he smell like a snooty French poodle? Well, today he just sounds like a snooty French poodle. Nah, I love that professor a lot. <laughs> I just like I clown, I clown on Rimlar. That was that was my that was that was a great teacher. I had a lot of good teachers where I went. I got lucky. Do, 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 do. Oh, uh, completely off topic, but where did you get that pink hair from? Pure, <laughs> pure curiosity. Um, Amazon. You want me to send you the link later? I definitely can. They still, um, they still sell it. But the pictures on Amazon don't match what they look like a real person. So I'll, I'll Cause I thought it was going to be like a rose color. Like it go, it goes from like a dark red to a pretty rose. It did not. It's like this pink. I mean, it's a uh, light brown to a pink. Just add a little bit. Oh, geez. Yeah. Your girl needs to get some detailed uh, oil brushes, but I've I spent I spent my budget for the art store this on the the mother craft the video. Um, I spent that budget already, so we gonna have to work with what we got for now because it's not too inconvenient. Oh gosh, so eyes are so pretty. Eyes are so pretty. We're getting we're getting to the detail of the eyes and you know the the abscess and the, 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 the what the what to call it. Mm. I really okay, link me. I really want to get box braids for the first time ever. Need packs of good hair though. You do, you do need a lot. Um, but yeah, remind me, remind me on Instagram so I don't I don't forget it because um I am major 
sleepy right now. I am drinking my water. But for some reason, I think because I'm using a lot of energy um, focusing right now. And I think I, I won't be as tired after I finish painting, I think. But I, I know I will forget. So please remind me. Fossil, not too random. It wasn't too random because we we kind of just chilling, like you know, you know, we chilling. We whatever you doing. Um, I believe one of us was cooking, some of us was painting, and some of us came to just say hello. It was it was a good time. It was a good time. It was a really good time. But yeah. Uh, Amazon has a lot of really good hair, even though I, I'm trying to reduce how much I buy on Amazon. Um, trying to. So far with the art store, it's been really easy to do that <laughs> when it comes to the art store. So that's those are my major art supplies are my major purchases. Um, so yes, I budgeted out, but still, like, those are my major purchases and you 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 know you know how a protective style is probably won't install it myself because i'm such a spaz so i'll have to wait until maybe the summer or even next winter to go to a salon to get them done Ooh, my braids okay so i do my hair myself but the braids i'm terrible at it so i'm still learning so i i kind of get the grasp of it they're not the neatest braids like you would but I definitely feel you on that. Um, definitely go to the salon. You know what I would love to do is go get my hair braided in Nigeria. I would, I would love, I would love to do that. But that you know, I heard like as long as they don't braid too tight, because uh, I need my follicles. Definitely do. And that's why I actually don't let anyone do my hair except for my mama these days because, because of how tight people be braiding. But the last time she braided my hair, from what I can remember, it was so tight. And um, I said, nope, no, no, no. I said, I said that the point is not for the hairstyle to last. The point is for me to grow my hair and also knot it have my my you know my scalp my hairline missing you know what i'm saying let's see don't go to the africans they will snatch you bald yeah <laughs> that's what i'm saying they they braid up your dreams they braid your dreams i don't know why your your comment was um hidden that was weird you did not say anything untrue like, that's why I'm saying, like, I saw this girl get her hair braided in Nigeria, and I was like, it didn't look too tight. But um, I would I would still love to see. We all know the Africans. They, they, they braid. They braid, braid, man. Like, they ready to, they braid like they're ready for war. Like, Jesus. Like, you don't want these braids to fall out. Them braids ain't falling out during, during the battle. They are not. They are staying put. I always wondered about that. Like, I, I could, I can, I could never braid that tight. I, I, I want to braid tighter, but I could never braid that tight. And I don't know how they be got them grips. Even with long nails, they got them grips. Okay. Might be time to go check my work again. Might be time to go back there and check that work. But I can already tell, like, I kind of need some. Oh, God. 
these these are great, but also I definitely miss having a rag. Maybe I will make a rag next time I do this. Well, not next time I go live because I do paint not on camera too. Hmm. I did it exactly once and had a throbbing headache for three days. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that, that's uh, about right. Uh, that also describes uh, the last time I got it. The, like, I used to get the braids like when I was a kid a lot. And then it stopped when I was 17. And um, my niece, I think she was a baby at the time. Um, or she was young enough that she was pulling hair and I was holding her and um, it was it was like on my, you know, that one, like they braid the baby hairs. Oh my gosh. And like it was already weak from growing out and it, oh God, it hurts so bad. That's all I'm going to say about that. The ending, the ending of that story that, oh my God. I need a good, strong green for that dark color. A little green, and a little dark green here is gonna zhuzh up the place. It's gonna zhuzh up the place. I'm gonna put some red on there. It's so funny how you can't get away from what you've been taught which it makes a better painting, so I can't even, that's how colors work. All right, Unc, we are almost finished with your first portrait. Good portrait. One that wasn't like, you know how y'all uncles be taking photos on Facebook? Well, no, they did not just show. There's this video of a Korean woman who got her long ass hair braided for the first time. And it was so funny, the faces she was making when the braider was putting in the rows. Oh God, it must've been so painful for her. She didn't know, she didn't know, she wasn't ready. Oh my gosh, she didn't know. Oh, that's funny. She was like, if you ever wanted to be like, if you're, this is a really terrible joke, but like, I bet she was like, uh, but one day I keep saying black women are so mad because, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, no, but still that, that is a good possibility. You'd be mad if you, your hair was snatched to the gods like that. Jesus, your scalp, the tension headache, all that. Oh, oof. It's not worth it. I just like this green here. So we're gonna put some, let's put some green here too. Put that up green there. Let's see, I admit I was worried for her edges at first. Not ready. Hey, living life, Sarah, what's up? Wow, you were so talented, thank you. Thank you, but as, as my um, Professor Rimlar would say, we are skilled, we are not talented because we had to work. We have to work. I love that professor so much. So don't don't think because I'm clowning on the things that he says that I don't. I, I love him so much. I just like to make fun of him. Because <laughs> he was so serious. It was so serious. And I, I respect that energy. You know, I keep seeing in Marvin Gaye because this was that time period, I believe, when this, when this was taken of my uncle. So it's like, yeah, you know? Yeah. You are so welcome. You are so skilled. I agree with that. That's so, so cute. Best I can do is knock off Jackson Pollock. Wait, <laughs> Shmung over here got, she got jokes. 
She got jokes, man. She got jokes. Mm. Y'all, I'm I'm getting sleepy. So something about focusing right now. That tells me I need to, to buy more contacts. Um, because if my eyes are feeling this dry, that must it must be my contacts. Like, yeah, I don't think I'm tired because I said I slept enough. Um and I told you guys um, in one of the lives, I don't remember which live it was, but that I have short sleep syndrome. And it's not a condition that you, you know, you're something you're born with. And it's not, it's not anything bad. It just means that I sleep for a short amount of time and I can feel energized on my minimum hours of sleep, which is like four hours. And I need about four to five to six is like if i'm sick i get six hours of sleep i sleep in a little bit longer but um yeah and we're able to function all day and i and that's why i said i, I must need to change my contact because i'm like my eyes feel heavy but i don't feel sleepy does that make sense i don't know if that makes sense See, I can't do anything like this. I meant to be here sooner, but I fell asleep. It's okay. We look, you caught us. We we are I said I was gonna be um it was gonna be a long stream and I, I was not exaggerating on that. I actually were we here this long before? I think we were. I think the live that we did a couple of weeks ago. I need that. I need that dark color real quick. Real quick, quick. Yeah, I, I need. I need um. I need a strong black. So we're bringing out the big dogs again. Their ma's black, even though you should be mixing your own black. But for a, a teeny little spot, yeah, we can. We can do it. You know, a lot. The reason why a lot of people paint so thinly, by the way, in my opinion, is because oils are so damn expensive. <laughs> uh, and the brand I use is not is probably the cheaper of the professional quality brands, the Utrecht brands. I highly recommend it if you want to do oils and be able to afford it, because you can afford it if you do. And their artist quality. And they're made in, they're made in Brooklyn, New York. Um, one of the employees at Blick told me that they went to go to the factory before the pandemic and it was everything. And I said, man, I would love to go up there and take the tour and see how the paint is made. I, that's some nerdy stuff I would love to do. I'm gonna get his little eyebrows. Oh, why is eyebrows so nice? He always had nice eyebrows, huh? All the men in my family have nice eyebrows without even trying. Like my brother, my brother has some really nice eyebrows too. Mm -mm -mm. Look, that's why I have an apron on. Messy. What does it say? I can't do anything like this. I um okay i've read that i've been sleeping way too much i slept about 15 hours yesterday i went to sleep around 5 30 and got up at 6 30 a.m for work jesus that's a lot but that tells you your body is probably needing to sleep um i really need to go back i miss the bean pies Ooh, that sounds so good that sounds so good yeah i i've never been i i really want to go um i mean of course not right now but um, I would love, I, I would just love to go. That, that sounds good.
Okay. And now there's a spot right here and then you got dark neutralized. So there's, that looks, it's red. So I need a little green, a little more green. It's like a dark red, so it means, okay. And now I can go in and, yeah, I can go in and, yeah, we're, we're about done with this painting, guys. I think I might have beaten my record of six. No, I actually ended up shaving my record down to about um, five hours. So I'm, if I could get four, yo. But at the same time, it's not, it's not a, it's not a race. I'm just, I've always just been naturally fast. Like I remember my art teacher would be like um, in, in high school, she'd be like, oh my God, like slow down. And then I get, I get to art school and they're like, you're really fast. That's really good. Like really, really good. Really good. So I said, okay, I can, I could be myself. Oh, let me fix the, let's fix that right there. They're, they're, they're symmetrical. His, his whiskers got our sisters. Is that a little gray hair? Yeah, just a tiny bit of gray hair. Maybe it's, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of gray hair. All right, uncle. I got you. I look good for wherever this is going. I don't know. There's so many in my, I have so many um, um, cousins and all that kind of stuff. I, I don't know who's going to pick it, but I'm not too concerned about that. This is a good morning process for me. Let's see. Um, okay, I read that. Uh, I definitely, I am definitely hoping it's that. Yeah, same. The muslin, be the muslin bean pies taste heavenly. Ooh, that sounds great. I now see the the homing, homing, homing. What are you talking about? Homing, homing. Oh, I get it. The I forgot. I'm sorry. The homing. Yes. The homing is back. You can see the homing. You can see the. I had a joke, a, we had a, for those don't, y'all just got in here. Uh, earlier, I was like, he look a little human now, a homing. I'm gonna say he look human, just playing around. Y'all know me, I, I'm a goofball. And I, I come off, I try to come off as cool, but it definitely does, you know, I've accepted that I'm a goofball and it's okay. Goofy is my favorite Disney character. <laughs> Although Goof Troop is, it was the, like the blackest movie we, we've, we've claimed. Are you guys watch Tunerific? Does anybody here watch Tunerific? Because if you do, honey, like he did the Goof, he talked about Goof Troop, Goof Troop. And I said, I didn't realize Goof Troop was so like, and I said, yeah, a lot of people I know who really, really like it were black. And I said, I guess, because it was uh, a lot of the music and, like it was, I said, I didn't realize that. Like, yeah, I get it, but he said that it is part of the music. Oh God, I had the cassette tape, man. I had the cassette tape that came with the, the VHS tape. Okay. Now, I don't know if I want to add way more paint to this, but it's so, it's blurred out everywhere. And I think I need to take this. I'm going to go ahead and, um, let's see. Have you heard of a show called Avatar, The Last Airbender or Legend of Korra? Yes. <laughs> I have Avatar, The Last Airbender on DVD, all three seasons. I'll, I'll be right back. And Legend of Korra, <laughs> I'm okay with it. Like, I, don't, I didn't think it was that good. Um, it, it was a little... Mm. It was okay. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll still be here. 
but I need to go back and check my work real quick. Always need to check your work. And I don't know why I always have an angle problem when I paint, but it's definitely how, how everything is positioned. Um, I could move that eye down some. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm not set in stone on that eye. I'm gonna go ahead and move this eye down. And I'm gonna do that. And I can do that because it's not dry. And how we're gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna take a lot of paint and we're just going to go over it like this. And then we're gonna just keep finding those localized colors that I used earlier. Mm. And we are going to paint. Let's see. Oh, which by the way, did you get my book recommendations that I tweeted you? I think I did. I think I did. Um, when did you tweet me? Like I, I tell you, I, I tell you, I always go follow me on Twitter or sub, but it'd be dead over there. So, um, if you tweeted me, I'm pretty sure I would have seen it. Okay, so then even this right here, look, it'll, there's so much color here, it will blend out. Okay. It's good that I caught it before someone else catches it. Got you out here looking crazy. Won't be out here looking crazy. You made me feel so good. There really needs to be more nuance here, but oh. yeah, much better. And note to self get a flat brush, a good quality one. Like, them cheap brushes, man, I don't. They don't last very long. As you saw earlier, like the brush literally came out of the, it literally came out of the, the thing. One of my brushes from like Trico, Trico, Trico? I cannot pronounce them. Why does that always happen? I wish they would do that. Okay, let me go ahead and approve that. Um, it was a couple days ago, but to be fair, it was like two in the morning. Okay. I'll have to go back and look. let see if I did. I forever stand the wheel of time by Robert Jordan finished by Brad, uh, Brand uh, Sanderson. Chef kiss. Mwah. <laughs> long, long as fuck, but so good. Ooh. Melanie Ron's Dragon Prince and Dragon Star trilogies. Neither of which have anything to do with the anime. For biographies, Stace, uh, Stray, Streisand, Stray, Streisinski's Becoming Superhuman. That's it. That's the tweet. Oh, okay. Ooh, you're reading some good stuff. You're reading some really good stuff. I feel like I feel like I mostly read comics these days. Um, I haven't read a traditional bookie book. Is what I'm calling it today in a while. Um, I want to read the the children of of what is it the children of bone of blood and bone. I want to read that, and there's already a second book out of that. I want to read, so I want to go ahead and read that one of these days. But based on what, with my work, uh, me and my mom, we usually get books on on uh, tape when we're working. So we can just keep working. Listen, it's like listening to a story. So one of these days, I'm gonna to have to get the my membership to the library, like the library in this county that I'm in right now. Um, go ahead and get that set up so I can read, or not read, but I can listen to some books on tape. Let's see. 
is a writer who was head honcho on Babylon 5. I don't know, boo boo. I don't, I didn't even see Babylon 5. Is that, I don't know what that is. But um, that's good. That's good. That's good that you read that. I think when it comes to the books, with the genre of books that I read, is a lot of foreign books. Um, I think uh, The Jewel Medina, I don't think that was foreign, but it was a feminist, mus a feminist Muslim book or something is what they were calling it. I love I loved that. I love The Boy on the Black Horse. I love, literally it's so sad. I, I can name every book. I did love A Great and Terrible Beauty, the trilogy, but I didn't like how it ended. I think the ending was trash. Um, it was trash. The ending was trash. And then, um, let's see, a very highly rated sci-fi TV show, and it turned out quite precedent from like a pre, okay, from like 25 years ago. Do you watch Black Lightning? I actually have not seen Black Lightning. Um, I want to, that and what is that other show with, with their Gina King in it? But if stuff is not on Netflix these days, it's, it's hard for me to watch it because um, like I watched Lovecraft Country because it was on, yeah, it was on HBO, but like I watched it literally not, not that long ago. Like, and I sat down and just watched it and it was great. But I don't know, guys, it's, it's really hard to keep up with everything. That's why I don't. That's why I don't do a lot of trending stuff because um, I'm always just gonna be not trending. You know what I mean? And I just be like, well, I'm not gonna say never, say never, but you know what I mean. Like it's hard to keep up. There's so much. There's so much. I do love sci-fi though. It's so good. President. Okay, it's okay. I thought I thought this is what you meant. All three seasons is on Netflix. I'll have to. I'll have to see. I'll have to see. I'll have to see. Y'all know I like. I like me some good stories, some magic, some sci-fi. What else do I like? Some anime, of course. That's where CU Space Cowboys come from. I am a huge. Um, Cowboy Bebop fan. I was like, that's my that's my first anime, by the way. Although I aged myself. I'd rather age myself with that. Because that's that was that's one of my first animes. Or it is the first, it was the first anime. Like, you know, when you realize it's an anime, you didn't know what it was. Like, that was it. Get his little, get his little wrinkles. He's got not a lot of wrinkles because he's young in this photo, but got that little little smile lines just a little bit and then like let's see let's see let's see let's see this might be the wrong color here but i don't know it's gonna work right now And now I still have to finish fixing. I still have to finish fixing that. That uh. God, I took so many figure classes and still can't remember the names. Those stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what was your? Uh, uh, that's how I felt with Sailor Moon. That was my first anime. I like. I. I will always say that I, I love Sailor Moon, but I will say, I don't, I like, I like it because I have a nostalgia with it because one of my friends and she's such a good person and I grew up with her and we, she was so obsessed with it. <laughs> and that's why I like it. Cause she was obsessed with it. And every time I think Sailor Moon, I think of her. And so therefore, um, I love Sailor Moon because I love that friend. Is that, is that such a weird thing to say? But 
that's why I love Sailor Moon. It just reminds me of how of that time when we were young and how she's such a good person. She's such a sweet, a sweet person. I associate Sailor Moon with her. And to me, I always, I always call her to this day. She is a real life Disney princess. She's Belle. And she's a librarian. <laughs> like, if Belle was allowed to work in her time period, like, she would be a librarian. Mm. I definitely recommend watching Babylon 5. It's scary how so much of a commentary it has on the recent events when at the time, mid-90s, it was scoffed at for being the way way too outrageous. Hmm. I, might, I might like that. I have to definitely take your word up on that. Take, take you up on that offer. Go, go check that out. I'm definitely have to go and see that. Thank you guys. Put me on some new stuff. Because right now I'm post I was saving you guys know bridging Bridger Bridgerton? Bridging God, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um Bridgington. Um I've been waiting to watch it with my sister and mother, but it sounds like they both cheated on me. They both cheated on me. And they both cheated on me and they watched the show without me. So it seems, and we were supposed to, I called them up. I told them about the show. I said, this is a messy Victorian gossip girl. And I said, we have to watch it with the high tea. And I think I was more excited about doing that together than they were. So I was like, oh, so I, so I need to, I said, come on, man. We were supposed to have a high tea. I guess they saw me getting busy, so and everybody's talking about it. They probably wanted to see it. I love that. <laughs> so, um, it's just a messy. It seems like I've only watched the first 10 minutes. And I was like, nope, I got to watch this with somebody because maybe we should watch it live or something. Or we should do a, rea a reaction video or something to it. That I, like, I, I don't want to be the channel that does that, but I'm like, Come on, I, I, I need to watch that with people. <laughs> Maybe a YouTube, not YouTube, what do they call it? A Netflix watch party? I have not done that yet. Maybe a watch party. Oh God, okay. I'm at the point where I know it's gonna be a glare, but um, let me put it off the painting so it won't be too much of a glare. I need to be able to see this part right here that I finagled. Let me see. Let me find a link to stream it. You can watch it here on Amazon. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. I think I still have Amazon. Okay, I, I need that. That brush is too long, though. Um, I kind of need, well, maybe if I thin down the paint a little bit more with some thinner. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. Okay. Uncle Ricky, we got it. I think I've got it. go back here and sculpt that a little bit. What time is it? Oh, 735. Yeah. Yeah. We're almost done here. Yes, we are. Oh, yeah. Stick a fork in it and call it done soon. That was so corny. That was so corny.
I also realized that this is leaning back some. Wow. Okay. Wowie wow. I know, I'm just getting a little bit particular. There's just something between that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna no matter, I'm gonna finish this today. So I'm gonna keep taking my time. There's just something off about it. And I need to look back and see. And on camera, you can't even his eyes look smaller than they are actually are in person for some reason. Um I don't know why. But I know when I take photos of this, it will show the way it's supposed to be shown. So I'll have to just trust the trust the magic. Trust, trust the magic. You have to pay to stream it, but it is so worth it. Hmm. Maybe I'll talk to I'll talk to um Ed about it. See if he wants to. So we have something new to watch together. So he's been watching old stuff. And we watched, we binge the crap out of, um, what is it, a pretty, tiny, pretty little things? You guys know what I'm talking about with the ballerina? The ballerina drama? We binged that in one day. And it was, we loved it. Absolutely, absolutely loved it. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know if I did that. Let's add a little more. I don't know, girl. I don't know about this one. Hold up. Oh, I need a stronger, strong red. Look at this. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah. And I still haven't finished the eyes. So still, there's so much detail in brown eyes, believe it or not. There's so much detail. I'm gonna go back there and check my work again. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Do, Just do another green. Okay. Let's see. Interesting trivia. The actor who played the captain of the first season broke down and got a mental illness and had to leave the show. Nobody knew why he why he left until after he died like 15 years later wow that's 
That's crazy. Man, stress will kill me. Oh, stress will kill you, man. Like, you got to be careful. Careful. Yeah. I've been trying to get this going right here. And I keep smudging it to oblivion. So let's not do that. Let's just tickle it a little bit. Yeah, yep, yeah, it's there, it's back. Still could do a little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, this bottom lip here. Need to fix need to fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and um, adjust this just a little bit, not too much. Where is the there's a little thing on here to adjust it? That's what's gonna help me to finish. Yeah. Hmm. We guys want to see just a well, I don't even know. Wait, no. My hand's dirty. I don't want to touch that top. <laughs> We're just like you don't have to touch it to to get out of here. But <laughs> according to JMS, it wasn't stress. I think the the mental illness just happened to meta manifest at that time. Oh man. That, that sucks, man. I'm glad he's at peace now. If he was, well, I hope he didn't have to struggle so much. I hope he got the help he needed when he left the show. I can also link you to the journal and interview where he mentions it. Sure, why not? Give me something to do um, after I finish up here. Go check that out. That sounds that's really interesting. Okay. I wonder if I'll spend some time off camera finishing. Because I, I feel like it's finished, but I also feel like I could still keep it going. Let's see, four, five, six, seven. More at seven thirty. So at eight o'clock, we'll be finished. So let's go ahead and get it finished. I guess like just something is missing. Something is missing. What is it? I know it's the the, the pupil in the eyes. That I have to add. I always do those last, so maybe that maybe I won't do it last, but ah, okay. So I took that part out underneath his eyes. The little eye folds here. That's missing. I need to paint those back. I had to paint those back in. And then uh, that's here. That's here. This is more. This is more nuanced. So feather that out. And then the, okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. So, what have you guys been? doing to, well how was your weekend what y'all do this weekend hopefully nothing <laughs> no hopefully something safe what did y'all get into this weekend let me let me know mm -hmm. 
Am I using this bright color? Yes, I am. And it's set in stone. Let's see, I've been working on doing some voice acting for one of my favorite comics on Webtoon. Ooh, that's cool. What comic? I love me some Webtoons. I'm currently really invested in reading um, Remarried, The Remarried Empress and Age Matters. I'm really enjoying those comics currently. Let's see, Sirens Limit, Le Sirens Limit. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I did read that, um, so that that's cool. I, I, I don't know. If, I haven't read if she updated or not. Um, wait, are the interview links showing up for you? If you left them in here, um, I won't be. I don't know. If, well, can I go back? I don't know if I'll be able to go back and look at it. So let's see. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to go back and look at it. She finished the series. Oh, she finished it. Oh, so I need to go and read the last few the last few chapters then. But I don't know. Like I originally read it because Ian is hot and I love that he was brown as the lead. A nice brown man for the lead. I really liked that. And then it turns out he wasn't the lead. What is I have no idea what what this is in the photo, but Mm, guys, I think I'm babysitting too much. I I think this painting is. I think I think they're damn near done. I'm gonna take my phone off the little thing, and that's what's really gonna help me look. Sometimes just we don't see. Hmm. Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. Yep, I'm glad I looked. No, 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 no. It is not finished. See, I can look. I can look at it and tell what I need to do. Oh, while I'm here, though, since I have my phone out, let me show you the, the reference photo that I had to re- that's the that's the reference photo. Yeah. I cried like four times. Is it a sad ending? Because then I'm just like, maybe I don't want to know the, the ending. This is like a really sad ending because I don't care what happens to the main character. I found that she was boring, but I do care what happens to Ian. That's it. <laughs> the main character that that uh, she was so boring. Oh my god. I hate the I hate the the very boring but good girl main character that seems to be the the norm and I'm just like wow what I wonder if she had a personality would I like her a little bit more we'll see not telling look you just ah I don't believe in spoilers but I still appreciate it. You're going to make me go and read it. Man. And you cry four times. You want me to cry four times too? Like, I don't know, man. I thought we was cool. I thought we was cool. You over here trying to make me cry. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm just messing with me. Hey, you guys remember how long we stayed last time? 
Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I figured out what was the issue. And it is that I need some darkness in the corner of that eye. And I also need to fix this lid. So I can do that by bam. Yep. Do the eyes need to be bigger? Gosh, okay. Should I make the eyes bigger? No, I think I'm babysitting. I'm, babe, I'm being a perfectionist at this point. There's no need to be. I could add more textures and I will go that for the body just because it looks good, but also I should make the body smaller. I feel as though I should make the body smaller to match the rest of what's going on here. Let's see. Check your Instagram DMs. Hold up. Hold up. Let me do that. Ooh, hold up. God damn, I'm getting distracted. All right. Oh, I see it. Thank you for that reminder. I'll give it, I'll give it to you. We're almost done here. So I'll, um, I'll do it right after we finish. I don't know why I ended up mixing this green, but I did. I did. I did mix this green. And I'm not even going to blend it out. I'm just going to, I'm going to use this to define his eyes here. And here. And I, I could add some of that color here and let it blend in with the dark color here. And then here, just because I freaking can. That's coming blue. Oh, it's coming pretty good. Um, I have to. Got in there. Huh? How long you got in there? Um, not that long. At eight o'clock, I'm I'm stopping. So. Oh, I believe. So pretty soon. And then I gotta clean up, which. That's the my least favorite part. That's why I want to get to the point where I get my studio assistant, man. They don't do all the stuff I hate to do. Which is clean my brushes. Okay, now let's look through the viewfinder. This really helps me look far back too. Yeah, I think, I really think that I hear, I think that I need some bigger. I think it does. Like, I feel like it does. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to go ahead and make the eye bigger. I think it needs to be bigger. Or maybe it just needs more light here. I'll try that. Now I'll probably make the eye look bigger. Mm, I don't think I feel like this is not my best work. To be perf to be perfectly honest, it has been a while. I will I will admit it's been a while because I've been working on my studio and stuff. And I mm, mm -mm, I'm not satisfied. But it still is a really nice painting though. I'll give it that. But, oh, you know what? This light is probably blocking me too. Hold up. Oh. <laughs> this is... This, ladies and gentlemen, is why we need good lighting. 
because you didn't even know you didn't know that the light is what was bothering your vision about what you were looking at. Hilarious. Hilarious homunculi. And now that I'm looking, this, if I could make this darker just so I could show up just a bit more. Hmm. Yeah, more paint, more paint in this area. And yep, more paint in this area. And I'm just going to add more of this color. I don't know. Oh, hold up. The uh, show. The funny thing is that in the mid 90s, I was a diehard hardcore Star Trek fan, and Babylon 5 was really extremely similar to Deep Deep to Deep Space Nine. I was such a snotty asshole. But now that I'm an adult, I can appreciate Babylon 5 writing. I love the show now. That's good. But you know, we we change over over time. I, oh, I, I, by the way, I love Star Trek. Um, absolutely love it. Uh, I am more of the with Captain um, Picard. I love, I love me some Captain Picard, and I love how you can still watch the show. Like it has lots of watchability, like rewatchability. I can go back and watch it right now and have a good time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to take my big filbert and I'm going to take some white and greens and I'm going to kind of fix this part. This part I don't like. I don't like this part of the painting. I have paint on it, but it needs more paint right here. What time is it? Oh, a few more minutes. Few more minutes, Hans. Few more minutes. Okay. This. This point, whatever color it makes, it gets on the it gets on the canvas, whatever color it makes. But I just know there's there's not enough paint in this area. Maybe I could also blur. I should also maybe blur some stuff out. You know what? Let's put more white. I don't know how this got so purple. I mean, I do know how it got so purple, but definitely very purple. <laughs> Oh, I kind of really like the way that light looks over here. I really always like use like a weird spooky green. It's a real, real, really weird way to say it, but it's, it's like a... This part is kind of fun.
Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm starting to, I'm starting to like it more. Okay. Once I just get the brush strokes to match the rest of like the energy of my painting, you know what I mean? I don't know what kind of shirt he was wearing. I don't know. What do they wear in the seventies? Uh, well, today he's wearing, I guess, a collared shirt, maybe. Is he wearing a collared shirt? Like no idea. It's so blurry. I just want the, all right, let me see. Mm. The strong line, we need more paint. Let's get more, let's get more paint. And let's see it through the viewfinder. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. Let's get fun. We're towards, we're, we're ending the painting. It's 8.02. I got a couple more minutes. I'm going to give myself a couple more minutes, but this, I don't want to just do this plain, because he's wearing like a, it looks like a plain white shirt. Could be baby blue, but um, that's boring. So we're just going to, maybe here, maybe here. Oh God, okay, I, I love this. I love this a lot more. Yeah. At this point now, I'm just, I'm just having fun at this point. All right, I need a little more zhuzh. Oh. Ooh, I love Picard too. And I don't care what anybody says. He's the best captain ever. He is. He is. Um, hey, Sugar, the painting looks great. Hey, Lorda, long time no see. If we're being honest here, I kind of like the kind of large visible brushstrokes rather than small, teeny, nearly invisible ones. Yeah, I feel ya. I like the large visible brushstrokes too. Um, I love, I love that. And you know, my first time, I've probably got pre-game jitters. It's not the first time, but I've, I've never done an entire painting live before, like the entire process. So, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I just love it a lot more. It feels more like me, and it feels like a little, like a little bit like love. Like I can tell, like I, I, I would want to hang this someplace. And also it's more me. Now, final, take this big, big brushy. Oh, not this one. This one this is so cheap. The, the bristles are falling out. This one. And it's just so we're just gonna get a dry brush it just a little just a little in certain places. Y'all see. Y'all see later when I um y'all see when I post this on Instagram the final thought picture what those details do because uh we ain't in hd today we ain't in 4k today so definitely are not so you won't be able to see every painstakingly deep detail and now for the last touch 
the part that everyone loves, who makes, we're going to do one teeny little drop on one because it is more. And of course the flash that nearly blinds the crap out of you. And, oh crap, I need a little bit more white. Okay. Okay, and Mission Complete. Mission Complete. Y'all don't even, y'all can't even see what I did. <laughs> All right, that's so funny. Mission Complete. All right, guys. Thank you for coming. Um, Uncle Big Rick in his prime. <laughs> and um, I really appreciate you guys being here. Oh, Lori says she sees it. But I see, let's see, what did Lori say? Yeah, I've been busy, started a new gig. Congratulations on the new gig. Um, Brooklyn says beautiful. I see it. I'm glad you guys see it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to post this on Instagram and I need a rest. My eyes hurt. Um, drink some water. Uh, get some fluids going. Fluids. Use the bathroom. <laughs> and then chill and chill. And re I need to decompress. Anytime I'm, first off, I feel like crying now just because I'm like, oh yeah, that's my uncle. But at the same time, it's like, um, I'm, I feel good and I probably shouldn't scrap. Look, look, look. All right, guys. <laughs> remember go out into the world and create something awesome or you gotta carry that weight see you space cowboys thank you for joining <laughs> I'll see you guys and bye